Hello! Hello, Monsters Abound here. Uh, good morning. Hope everyone's okay. All three of us. Um, oh, God, I really hate it when Streamlabs downloads a new thing. And then I'm like, what's all this garbage? Download premium Fortnite themed overlay. Pa no, go away. Okay. Um, you have to tell me if the... Uh, I think we have an ad mech in the chat. Do we? Is that bad? Is that good? I don't know. I'll just go with it. It's generally probably fine. Um, so, a little bit late starting, but uh, Squidge did not sleep well last night, and uh, my wife was... <laughs> oh, Magos of Mars. I get it now. Hello, May. May the Omnicide bless you. Ah, and you. Um, Squidge did not sleep well last night, so my wife was... Like a bear with a sore head. However, I do think bears would probably be slightly more merciful. So um, that was fun. But streaming for a couple of hours, hour and a half or so, because I have yet to actually record the battles for today's uh, Wurzag campaign episode. So I need to finish this, record that, set it rendering. As soon as it stops rendering, upload it and hope it uploads before 3.30. So all to play for. However... I want, really wanted to um, stream this because I, I played a little bit of it and it was it was quite entertaining. But I thought, you know what, it's it's probably not YouTube sort of. I feel like some games just aren't really worth YouTube. Like they're just a, they're more sort of streaming games. I feel like RPGs probably more streaming games because you kind of have more time to get into it. Um, so this is encased, and the backstory is that it's 1970 something, and they found a ruddy great dome in a desert. Which desert? Doesn't say. How big's the dome? Again, not entirely sure on that. However, apparently um, like the world governments put together an organisation to go inside and try and work out what the hell's going on. So we're part of this organisation. And I've made Magnum PI, um, mostly because I wanted to make Jessica Fletcher, but they don't have a bouffant hairstyle. Which is just not great. So I've gone with Magnum P.I. instead, um, and he looks glorious. He's got the moustache. He looks fantastic. Um, you have different wings you can go into. So this is like the different parts of the organization. So Orange Wing are just like convicts that are like shunted into the dome. Um, it's kind of, it feels a bit like, um, is it SCP, SPC, SCP? Like you have the, um, you have the, the convicts that just get sent in to investigate stuff. Um, but I feel like we're probably Blackwing. Because Magnum P.I., he was in the military. Um, if we were Jessica Fletcher, I was going to go like Blue Wing or something. Because she's like a scientist or something. But Blackwing is the military arm of the organisation. And I feel like that kind of fits quite well. Um, so. God, look at all this. Uh, guts. I feel like Magnum P.I. would have more charisma. Deafness. Luck. Uh, can we, like, oh, we can, I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with more charisma, because I feel like Magnum P.I. has the charisma, I mean, he's got the Hawaiian shirts, hasn't he, that's, that's pretty good, SCP Foundation, that's the one, why not use servitors, I mean, that's a good, good question, don't, I mean, I guess they just don't have them yet, just don't have them yet, maybe, maybe they use robots, ooh, with AI, shit, what the hell, like, guts, I mean, constant, okay, let's take that down a little bit and maybe go with um, maybe a bit more depth. I mean, he's a PI, isn't he? So let's go, let's go something like that. Sure, sure, right. And then skills. You've got so many skills, like just so so many skills. Um, there's so much in this game. It's really, it's really like it feels like um, the old Fallout's. Feels really similar to that. Uh, so, I feel like, like Magnum P.I., he's going to be pretty good with light weapons, isn't he? So we're going to make that one of our tagged skills. That gives us some more, like, skill points in that. Um, we could take all of these. Disarming shots, yeah. Find vulnerability, sure. Crippling shot, fine. Heavy weapons, nah. High-tech weapons, nah. Hand-to-hand, ooh, now that's pretty, that sounds pretty good. He's not really a criminal. Speech, I mean, he's a, he's a, I mean, piloting's already pretty good anyway. So I don't think we need to tag that. Uh, but maybe we go... I mean, speech. Because, like, he's a PI. He needs to talk to people. Barter. 
Conviction. The application of formal logic, rhetoric, and common sense. Oh, yes, let's do that, because that's like we can t a charm. Yeah, because he's Magnum P.I. He's got the moustache, hasn't he? I mean, that's... Holy shit. That's, that's got to do it. And I feel like hand-to-hand, -hand maybe, because, like... Magnum P.I. One-two punch. Yeah, the old one-two. The old one-two. Uh... Let moral. Hello. Hi. I'm going to call you Let. Hello, Let. Let it. Let it. I'm going to, no, Let. We're going to call you Let. Um, right, so we've picked light weapons. Oh, we can get high tech weapons. Charge up. Sure. I mean, may as well. I think that basically we can afford the green skills. Um, so lock picking. Or I'll go lock picking because PI's got, got a lock pick, haven't we? And um, piloting. Holy shit. Uh, heavy duty driving. The ability to drive heavy vehicles with heavy loads. Trucks, armoured personnel carriers. I mean, Magnum PI, he had like a helicopter, didn't he? Do we have a helicopter? There's no helicopter. Car driving. I mean, that's that's literally you just got to have car driving. Uh, U-turn. Mm, side impact. Mm. Ability to fire hand. I mean, that, that just screams Magnum PI, doesn't it? Medicine. Uh, let's go bandages. Sure. And tech. Mechanics. Guns. I mean, gunsmith, right? Damn, there we go. Oh, that's, 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 that's pretty good. I've got science. Hacking. Smarty pants. Uh, improved scanning. Ooh. Ooh. I, I go hacking because, like, you know, have to hack and smarty pants because, let's face it, he's Magnum PI. Cookery strip. I mean, Magnum PI probably can strip things, so sure. Okay, so there we are. Magnum PI. 27 hit points. He's got regener 18 regeneration. Is that good? So the basic amount of health that the body recovers in 24 hours. Okay, fair enough. So he's kind of, you know, pretty pretty standard. He's got more muscle, physical strength. He can really punch people in the face. Um, this game seems complicated for my limited brain. I mean, I have literally played the first ten minutes of it, so it's it it was it was too much for me, and I've just decided just to go with it. Uh, so you take the envelope handed to you, the Coronas logo. That's the organisation set up foundation created to explore and exploit the dome. De facto dictates the prices and conditions of access to relics and other forefather technologies. You work for Cronus, and Cronus cares about you. Does it? Doubt. Uh, stares up you from the front of it, along with a large number one. You open the envelope. Inside, you find a foil coated postcard depicting a strange glowing mechanism. A second card serves as an official invitation. Uh, so we can skip the intro or do not skip the intro. Let's do not skip the intro. Yeah, the, the skill trick, I mean, there's, there's, it, it really is built on that sort of like old Fallout style of you can do anything rather than because let's face it recently certainly within the last few years rpgs have been dumbed down to the point where you know you punch someone or you have a skill that lets you do something i feel like this is much more like i mean it's, it's made by the, it's made by developers who left larian who made divinity so it's sort of similar in some way to that but i think it's definitely made more based out on the old sort of fallout games uh the, you receive a second envelope inside is a copy of the form you filled out earlier Third envelope contains another con congratulatory postcard and a ticket to the Crystal Sands. <gasps> I've got a golden ticket. Uh, this is a town of Crystal Sands, an explorer's last stop before they enter the dome. The air here is dry, heated by the exhausts of transports and cooled again by the army of aircon units. A town built on sand, flattened by soldiers, boots and carved by tyres. The frontier city, the last place in a soft, toothless world where you are not ashamed to be a soldier, where there are no hippies and anti-war demonstrations, damned hippies, and where a firm hand, a willingness to fight and readiness to follow orders will always be appreciated. The sergeant atop the platform looks right past you with the other Blackwing soldiers. You enter the cabin of the Funcular. The door closes. A cabin carries you to the sphere. A gentle wind rocks the crowded cabin. At the handrail, you view the city is obscured by the rising heat. The funicular rises on, frost whitens windows. It's script pale upon the glass. The cabin heating comes on. So basically, the dome is only accessible by a, like a, a sphere, at the, like the tower at the very top. So an upside down tower, basically. So it's like a pointy rock. What's the pointy rock thing's called? 
those ones. Stalactites. Stalactites? Stalactites. One of them. It's like them. Uh, but once you're in the dome, you can't get out for reasons that I'm not 100% sure on, but apparently you can't get out. I don't like the new RPGs. I miss the confusion and rage to game with the classics. <laughs> exactly. You want... And trust me, I have raged. Uh, pyramid. Yeah, like an upside down pyramid. Uh, but, but Kingdom Come Deliverance is good. You know, I've never played that. And it's always one of those games I've been thinking, oh, I should really try that. Um, so we can look in the window and inspect the posters in the cabin. Uh, let's look in the window. Clinging to the handrail, you appear through the frosted glass. The cabin emerges from the milky white clouds. The sunlight reflects bright upon the roof of the dome. You should... How the fuck do they not see this dome? Like, it sounds massive. At what point do they go, oh, geez, yeah, that thing. I just just thought it was a bit of glass. You shield your eyes. A sphere uh, the spire approaches a moment, and the cabin shudders and docks. The transit station built so the spire is a transit station built around the aperture to the top of the dome. Relics are moved up to it, and the capsules with new employees, food, and equipment descend from it. Perhaps it was buried under the sand. I mean, maybe, but remember that they've had to go through the cloud layer to reach the spire to get back down into it. So, un unless that desert was fucking massive. I, it, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. The spire, steady white light floods the station hallways. You feel like you're in outer space or at a busy shopping mall. The clerk at the desk gives you a friendly nod and passes you the fourth envelope. Fourth and last. Inside you find your name tag, permanent pass and a magnetic chip. No bigger than an aspirin. On the chip you find engraved the number 38. At capsule 38 you put the chip in your slot. The door opens. You step inside. Five others have arrived before you. Give them a wave for, a, for taking a seat. The round door closes with a dull clap. The capsule begins its descent, accelerating slowly. Super advanced cloaking technology. I mean, maybe. Perhaps some heretical cloaking device. So the spire is a space elevator. So it's kind of like... So you've got the dome. The dome's obviously very, very tall. You've got like a hole in the top and the spire kind of descends through it. And around... The, the dome, you've got this city that's been built up by this organisation called Cronus. And what they do is they send people up to the spire and then they come down into the dome through the spire. So effectively it's kind of like a space elevator but sort of a reverse one where you're kind of coming back down but you kind of go up one way and then down to the spire because once you come down, in, come, once you're in the dome apparently you can't come out. Um, they can ship things things out but you you can't come out but i'm not entirely sure why um so we can we got different people so we can ch uh, so like the the white wing they're the scientists the blue wing are the engineers silver are the managers black wing are the military that's what we are and orange wing are like kind of criminals because that's why this guy here has got the orange jumpsuit and he's got handcuffs on uh so we can watch the female white wing employee the young woman her tag reads tomoro kumurai she catches your reflection in the glass and turns. There was an artifact in the subverse about light-emitting minerals with changeable crystalline, crystalline grids. Quietly, she answers the question you didn't get the chance to ask. I'm here for them. Well, I mean, if you're going to be there for anyone, let it be the light-emitting minerals with changeable crystalline grids. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's the blue. The Russian squeezes your fingers in his own. Gesturing to the window, he points at lattice of unfinished aqueducts standing tall and still in the sand. Then he pats himself on the chest. Looks like he doesn't speak English. And we're going to check out the silver. Monty James. The silver puts his hand on his chest and with another playful, uh, the other playfully salutes you. He nods at your name tag. I've read your profile. Okay, good, good, good to know. Good to know. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, so this is the Black Wing. Uh, Lieutenant Elsa Ol Olofsson. The Black introduces herself. She puts her hand on the shoulder of the orange sitting next to her. And this is my first assignment. Uh, hey, orange. The man in the orange jumpsuit pretends not to notice you. Eyes lowered, he studies his own thin wrists and the handcuffs that bind them. So let's look through the viewport. You move to the window. Beneath the rippling clouds, you spy a golden desert. Pretty, uh, pretty as an advertisement. Ad, 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 advert. The dunes ripple in pale waves. You think you see patterns. You squint. You are right. Gigantic concentric circles seem to stain the sand. Mysterious structures. There are hundreds of enigmatic machines and unexplored buildings scattered over thousands of square kilometres under the dome. The functions of most of these remain unknown. Those currently being studied are catalogued as objects. Seems a bit lazy. Uh, the capsule sinks into the, uh, into, into the sands, into the clouds. The silver knocks on the viewport. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, these are your last moments in your old world. I advise you to enjoy them. The cabin quivers as if breaking through an invisible barrier. The black lets out a barely audible breath. That's the boundary. There's no going back now. 
dome border. The dome is characterized by its selective permeability. Cargo and personnel are moved inside through the gap at the apex of the dome. Damaged equipment, uh, dangerous waste, and relics exit the dome this way as well. As for living beings, any attempt to leave the dome ends in death. Oh, the trip here is a one-way ticket, but that doesn't stop the daredevils. Interesting. Uh, machines, you say. Machines, but probably heretical machines. I mean, people didn't build them. Why the Russian men doesn't wear a red suit? I mean, it, the closest he could wear is orange, and that means he'd be a criminal, so that, that wouldn't be probably the best. Uh, Form-fitting jumpsuits will never catch on because they only look good on fit people. Disagree. I am not fit, but look fucking amazing in Lycra. In my own opinion. The ground comes up fast. We can love them. <laughs> mm, I mean, didn't we do that in... Um, in oh, what's, the, what's the Necron game called? Fuck, I was completely gone now. What's that? The, the Necron game. The fuck. I did an entire series on that. That one. That was not a bad. That was not a good idea. Don't do that. Uh, the ground comes up fast. The capsule hits the braking cushions. The door opens to the desert, flooded with sunlight. An orange transporter stands nearby. The Silver Mechanicus. Thank you. The, literally the name of the organization. Yes. Thank you. The Silver. God, Magos of Mars is not going to be happy. The Silver adjusts his jumpsuit and narrows his eyes. Attention! You are now entering Cronus territory. Mr. Pot Potanane, Miss Kamura, please follow me and pick your seats. Mr. Beasley looks uncomfortable. Elsa, would you be so kind as to provide him with handcuffs that are more humane? The orange smiles bitterly as he takes his seat at the back of the transporter near the barred window. His humane handcuffs softly shine. The vehicle begins to move. The world under the dome looks like a dream, a great and glorious dream. The transporter pulls out onto a brand new road with freshly painted yellow white markings. The faraway horizon glows blue silver as light glints off the edges of the dome. I don't believe you without evidence. There might be evidence. Um, <laughs> it's not. Uh, so uh, we can look right, look left. Uh, let's look right. A, giant bill a gigantic billboard stands by the road, a neon arrow pointing to a long, single-floor building in the parking lot. A blonde woman in a blue sundress places a paper bag on the th back seat of her car. A hypermall Here. The car turns off the street down into an underground parking lot. The silver opens a door and the car is bathed in the yellow light of dozens of lamps. In the far corner of the lot, a spacious elevator awaits you. Doors open. The lift's powerful engine suddenly falls silent and the platform stops. A hollow echo of voices is coming from below you. The lamp in the wall fixtures are buzzing quietly. The soft rumble of distant mechanisms comes up from beneath, behind the ventilation shaft. Okay. Uh, so, here we go. Finally. Ah, I could work that out. So we are Magnum PI. Okay, so the elevator stops. Fair enough. Okay, nothing. Is is the game sound too loud or is that fine? Okay, there are evacuation ladder, but there's a hatch here. What's the hatch? Go in the hatch. Hello. Hello, man. Stranger bounces back and turns his flashlight on you. Herman, what the... Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, so we can look around, ask what he's doing here. Uh, what are you doing here? And instead of answering, the blue points to the patch on his shoulder. Magellan Technical Services. Communication, elevators, ventilation. Why do you ask? Um, ask him if he knows why the elevator stopped. Game sound contains gold. Good. Oh, so you say gold. That works too. Let's pray to the lift machines for it. Good point. Um, ask him if he knows the elevator stopped. The technician looks uncertain. Well, uh, this is a plan stop. He's just wanted to check something. Uh, politely, I, I, I'm just, you know what? You know what? People doing strange things in strange places. I've done that, so let's politely ask if he can repair the elevator. The blue pauses to gather his thoughts. I'm not sure I should let you go. How do I know you won't report me? He takes a cautious step in your uh, direction. Um, I can, what? If I've got a concussion, I can answer him. Really? Okay. Um, tell him honestly, have I not seen anything suspicious? Although the Blue's behaviour is strange and even frightening, there's nothing in his actions that would merit a report to Blackwing. You explain this to the technician. Wait, you like, didn't notice anything weird? Fair enough. <laughs> like the worst, worst private investigator ever. Plans, I don't know. Um, he abruptly falls silent as if on the verge of saying something he shouldn't. Technician thinks for a couple of seconds. I'm going to switch the electricity on now. The derivative will move as soon as you reach the... 
Piles of cases behind him collapse with a ca crash. One of the containers falls open and a small glowing part bounces out onto the floor. The blue stares helplessly at the part, then back at you. I didn't take them. It was Herman. Yes, Herman is a thief. Ah, oh, fuck it. The blue pulls out a monkey wrench from his belt and takes a step back. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay, we're, 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 we're punching people now. Uh, okay, sure. Let's give him the old... Okay, so that's action points. The one-two punch, or the strike, hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, so that does... Sure, let's try the old one-two. Yeah! Can we try a strike now? Nice! That's it, punch him to death. Oh, he's got a wrench! Shit. Okay, well, no problem. We'll just punch him. No, okay. Nice. Not enough action points. Okay. Ow! Mother f Right, right, the old one too again. No, what about another one too? Come on. No. Let's strike him. Ace right. Pow. Look at that. Um decapitate him what with my hands? Jesus. Get those sponsorships with these games. Uh I got a key. I've got, a key, I've got a free key for it. That's nice. But I didn't, like, get anything else. Um, Concussion answer reminds me of the low intelligence answer in New Vegas. Where you just randomly shout, ice cream. <laughs> right password. <laughs> Kick him in the balls. That's, that's yeah, sure, we'll do that. Hello, what's he got? Uh, is it, okay, that's us. That's him. So he's got a letter to Derek Exler. A sheet of paper folded for slightly warm. Okay. I'll take that. And Dark Secrets Beer. Dark Secrets Dark Stout is a... Hand branded with the Kronos logo, released to commemorate the foundation's fifth anniversary. Oh, okay, got that. What's in here? A black pin. Looks blue most of the time, but sometimes flashes with unnaturally bright colours, mainly red and green, as a beneficial effect on the owner's physical condition. Oh, okay, take so that. That's not decapitation. I'm sad now. Are you proud of yourself? I mean, a little bit, yeah, but not for the reasons you think. Uh, right, okay, so what's this? The electric motor that powers the elevator. Okay, good. What's all this stuff? Okay, cool. We've we've started started the elevator. Good. And I take it we can just search all this stuff. Morning. Hello, Spectre. And hello, Rene. 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 A beer, the best loot you can have. A wooden bar. Yeah, I'll take that. I love me a wooden bar and some stuff. I love stuff. Let's take all the stuff down here. Did I search that one? Oh, paper. Yeah, I need that for printing. I mean, I don't have anything at the moment, so I'll take everything. May as well. A piece of cloth. Holy shit. Truly a bonanza. Bonanza. Uh, duty roster. Team 1. Stephen Higgs, technician. Martin, blah, 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 blah. Please do not forget to file an approved duty roster in advance. Okay. And a ventilation shaft, which apparently we can't do anything with. Okay, fine. Anything else? Or oh, is a, a vent? What does that do? Okay, so I... Oh, I guess like we could have turned the valve and maybe killed him that way. That's fine. Okay. Uh, a beer! The best... Oh, yeah, I've read that. Uh, it seems like the Xenos after you kick me... You must keep it for study! I think someone should tell Magos that the series finished. Oh, yeah, no, it did. Yeah, we finished. We finished that one. It was really good. I really like Mechanicus. It's, it's a really good game. What's, what, was the, what did we pick up? What was it? Relic Shards. Rapid Forefather Relics Extraction definitely comes at a cost. These broken relics have lost their primary function, but may still prove useful. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. And here? Oh, medicine. Yep, drugs. The drugs don't work. They just make you worse. Some springs. I'll take all of that crap. Did I check the toolbox? Yep, nothing in there. What's in here? Anything? Nope. Meant to do that. That's it. Search away. Oh, good. Look at all Ooh, electrical equipment. What's that? Rare earth metals. Matches. More relic shards. Yeah, take all of that. Right. Look at that. Oh, we ate it. Punched him to death. And now we should be able to use the, the eleva ele elevator. Click the elevator. 
There we go. We had a chat with the machine spirit. He's fine. Uh, visitors to the Magellan Station will find a hospitable welcome in a large, luminous hall. Everything within has been designed to make our recruits comfortable while waiting for registration. Polite and affable personnel, cosy chairs and couches. A vending machine. Please note the vending machine only accepts combo com bonds. God, com bonds. Com bonds, the currency of the dome. Okay. And of course, some colourful and engaging informational material about our organisation and life under the dome. Welcome to Magellan. Leaflet. Thanks, that's really good. Oh, there's a plant. Let's hunt through the plant. What's in there? Found some handful of earth. Yes, I... <laughs> okay, I'm just taking everything. I'll take everything. I'll worry about it later. Potato? Fucking yeah. Uh, don't take too long to register. Oh, we need to register, do we? Okay, what's this? F what? In a There's a f five millimeter shells in a plant pot. All right, we'll register in a second. I'm just busy digging through your plant pots, if that's okay. Not well. I mean, I did not think plant pots would be a wealth of ammunition, but there we go. Maybe that's just the kind of place we live in. Dean Rayhertz, hello. Uh, a tall receptionist. Silverwing, administrative and bureaucratic Kronos division, managers, accountants, human resource specialists. Scum. Watches you from behind his desk with a bored, haunt haughty look. He gestures impatiently for you to come closer. Never seen uh, potatoes or house plant before. Loot grabbed everything from ammo to chairs. <laughs> yeah. It's like, thanks for the registration. Just like pulling a sofa behind me. Uh, the employee glances at you indifferently. His upper lip is ever so slightly curled. You presume with contempt. Fair enough. All new employees must first register. Come to the desk, please. The nameplate on the desk reads Dean Rayhurt, Administrator. The administrator slaps himself on the forehead as if he's just remembered something. I almost forgot the regulatory greeting before registration. Just a second. Interrupt him and tell, uh, tell him about what happened just in the elevator. Yeah. The sort of interrupts you with a gesture. Let's do it in order of procession. First we'll deal with registration. All the rest can be discussed later. Ray Hurt takes out a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder from under the desk. Quickly rewinds the tape to the beginning and presses play. The speaker explodes with a crackling sound over which the sound of a metrono metronome grows... Metronome grows louder, yeah. Solemn music begins to playing from the tape recorder. The administrator's face takes on a serious expression. Dear employee, I, Administrator Dean Rayhurt, welcome you to Under the Dome. The largest and most famous relic of the Forefathers Dome covers approximately 30,000 square kilometres of desert. Invisible, indestructible, impenetrable to any living matter within. Ooh. On behalf of the Kronos Corporation. It must be a bullet farm. That's me in Skyrim, to be honest. Yeah, shoot the evil administrator. I don't have a gun. I could punch. I could give him the one, two, or just throw some ammunition shells at him. But that's that's all I could manage. The administrator coughs and continues. By joining our company, you are choosing the path of science and progress. You're among mankind's best. We ask that you live up to that title. The dean, uh, dean squints at the monitor. Deserve this title. Do your job honestly. Obey the law. Respect your colleagues. And... Music phase, the administrator finishes speaking his last words in silence. And together we will build the best future for all mankind. Dean puts the tape recorder away. We're done with the greeting. Now I'll register you and upgrade your Selectron. Are you ready? Electronic key and ID. Your computer program embedded into the Selectron grants you access to certain areas depending on your wing and rank. Um, yes, let's begin the registration. You move close to the desk. Dean's hands freeze off the keyboard. Your administrator gives you a nod. Dictate your data to him, pass him a note with your data, enter the data into tonal yourself. Uh, I'll just dictate. You spell out your first name, last name, specify your wing, profession, and test results. The administrator's fingers fly across the... I guess that means you could then change what you were. Um, fly across the keyboard as he enters your data into the Kronos database. Rayhurt scans the computer screen. So you're on the staff at the Magellan station. Your select drone, please, I'll update the firmware. Dean presses the docking port of your pass into a recess in the casing of his computer. The administrator returns your Selectron. Here, you're now the first clearance level. As a Blackwing employee, you gain access to the barracks, armory, surveillance rooms, punishment cells, and other special locations. Ooh, punishment cells. That sounds fun. Dean continues. Each new employee has several mandatory tasks to perform. I can tell you about each one briefly or in detail. Uh... Maybe five of the short version. To make it short, get your uniforms from storage, get your weapon in the armory, complete training at the training ground, learn how to use a scanner, avoid anomalies, and obtain scientific knowledge on the White Wing level. After this, return to me, and I'll tell you what you need to do next. Dean sits back in his armchair. And that's all. I hope there won't be any more questions. Ask him to repeat the task. <laughs> Dean gives you a disconcerted look. I'll say this once more, just once more. Collect your uniform, blah, blah, blah. So that everything is clear and move away. Uh, the administrator looks up to you. That's all then. Get your uniform at storage, your weapon at the armory. Get briefed uh, by the research on the laboratory and then report back here. 
He reaches for the tape recorder, but at the last moment thinks better of it. The instructions call for some welcoming words, but dash it all, that's nonsense. Welcome to Magellan. Thanks, love your hair, because it's the same one I've got. Hello, turrets. How are you? I'm scanning it. Ooh, experience received. Yeah. What is this? Uh... Equipped with infrared guidance system, real-time friendly foe analytics, and 3,000 rounds of ammunition capacity. Okay. Good to know. Ooh, look at this. Hello, Chaos. Punishment spells is a weird name for BDSM dungeon. Well, that's, you know, that's that's your thing. Uh, a Vega drinks vending machine. Okay, there's an elevator there. Main ele nah, I'm not going to have a main elevator. We're going to look around. What's going on here? TV sets. There's a Kronos propaganda film on every channel. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um... Good. Flower pot searches for ammo. What we found. Earth. Taking the earth. What's in here? More earth? More earth. Is there like a... I take it I can just take as much stuff as I want. What's in the case? Locked. Hello, Mr. Mon... Hello, Monty James. Hello. A silver wearing thin glittering glasses sits on an orange couch, trifling nervously with his badge with the name Monty James on it. There is a packing... A, a packing capacious suitcase and leaflet about the dome atop of it. Continue. He raises his hat, his head, scans your face, screwing up his eyes. Ah, it's you. How did you like it inside the dome? Say that you haven't formed any opinion yet and it's still not your time to discuss your impressions. Say that you expected more. Say it's fascinating. It's fantastic in all senses. Sure. Monty listens to you with a gracious smile. When you're finished, he raises his finger in protest. I can't argue. The scenery is wonderful and the ordinary human negligence surrounded by the fantastic scenery. Uh, you know, when they'll... You know, when they'll find my papers and put me on the list, I'll share your enthusiasm. But in the meantime, say that you could try to register him with the terminal. Move away. Uh, I could try. Toying absentmindedly with his hangnail, Monty raises his head. Are you for real? That would be incredibly nice of you. May, maybe then my illusions about this place and the people working here will be justified. The silver evidently cheers up. Okay, thanks. What about the plant pot? Just in case. More earth. Yep, take all that. I mean, I feel like at some point we're going to find more guns. Is there a gun in here? Nothing found. Not even Earth. Jesus. Rubbish. What about here? Another potato. Sure. I mean, you can never have enough potatoes, right? I feel like with enough Earth, we can make our own garden. And then we're self-sufficient. We can make our own potatoes then and maybe grow our own ammo. Maybe, if that's that's how ammo grows. I don't know. Don't. Yep, more ammo. Good. Five millimeter shells. We'll take those. Good stuff. What's this? A washing machine. Clean machine. Smells like bleach and lavender shampoo. Ooh, nice. Uh, is this a terminal? Broken uh, public. Yeah, let's, let's come over here and see if we can register Monty James or something. Uh, register Monty James. As you feed Monty James data into the system, you notice that the registration form for the silver silvers looks too detailed. Obviously, Kronos sees its managers as a special case. Data entered and checked. You press the send button. With a beep, the system redirects you to the terminal main menu. The screen blinks and returns to the main menu. Okay. Has that, has that worked? Shall we have a chat with Monty? Uh, punishment cells is what the electric paddle runs... <laughs> Jeez. Everyone knows that ammo comes from animals, known as ammo hogs. They're related to hedgehogs. You know what? I didn't know that. Um, I've added him to the lists. Monty takes off his glasses, puts them on the couch cushion, and all of a sudden he hugs you. Ooh, ooh, personal space, guy. Look, don't look. He puts his glasses back on. I thank you for such a being for such a fabulous example of cooperation with a stranger. Perhaps the dome really is a special place. Okay, can I, can I take his? Can I pickpocket? I can't pickpocket him. Move away. Can I? Oh, I don't have enough. I can examine him. Oh, okay, good. Good to know. Right, okay, let's have a chat with this guy over here. It's a chem fuel producing boomer lopes in the room. Oh, those guys. God, I hate those guys. A young Hindu guard salutes you military style. Welcome, recruit. You see uh, the name on his badge, Indra Kapoor. Greet the colleague. Indra bows shortly but courteously. Uh, thank you for coming. I have to apologise right away for reaching out to you. There's no one else to ask since there are so few people around on our level on days like this. And I can't leave my post. 
He jerks his head somewhere to the side. The fourth camera in the video surveillance room lost signal. I've already called the technicians on the radio, but they're taking their time, probably because I've punched them to death. Can you take a look and see what's wrong with the equipment? I would be very grateful. Uh, hopefully you will find 30 to 50 wild ammo hogs. I mean, that's the dream. Indra places a hand on his chest, expressing gratitude. I'll be indebted to you. The surveillance room is upstairs. Okay, th thanks. What's this? Stack of leaflets. Indra's in the way. Can't... Oh, surveillance room. It's over there. Can we can we go up to say Okay, we'll go up to surveillance room. And hello. I'm 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 a I'm a man. Hello, Courtney, Reznor. A pale thin woman with a cigarette greets you without offering her hand. You look down at a badge, Courtney Reznor, Surveillance Services. So you asked to repair. This. Yeah, I'm, I've been asked. The black glance at the. Then you should look at the terminal. Come off and find out the breakdown cause. Once you look at the monitors of the surveillance room, you realise right away the problem is serious. There's no signal at all from the fourth camera. Courtney hovers over your shoulder, engulfing you in a stench of old tobacco. This has happened before. The video surveillance cards installed in the mainframe burnt out a couple of times. Another time the cleaner pulled out the wires, but maybe I messed up something in the programme. I just pressed here and everything disappeared. She tapped the button with a long black nail, reminding you of the claw of a bird of prey. Take note of her nails. I've got perception six, because I'm a PI. Courtney's nails are definitely not up to regulation. They're three centimetres long, covered with sparkling black colour, with almost razor-sharp tips. Reznor hides her hands as if she notices you paying attention to them. If you don't have any further questions, please take care of the problem. I have work. Say that you're starting repairs now. Yeah, I've got your 911, Reznor. What's going on over here? A chair. Oh, I can sit in the chair. Monchula. <laughs> yeah, I'll go and fix the, go and fix the camera. So I just... Am I drinking something? Okay, fair enough. Uh, what's, what's going on over here? We got... Take all of that. Take all of that. What's this? Paper? Yeah, I want paper. Holy shit. Uh, scissors? Don't run with scissors. We're going to run with scissors. What's scissors? A common pair... Of, okay, good. Good. And we check that. Yeah. And all of that. And all of this. More paper. I'm going to be the sole source of... I'm going to corner the paper market. Everyone's going to have to come for... I'm going to be the paper don. Everyone's going to come to have to come to me for paper. More black powder. I'm just going to take everything. Locks? Rubbish. Can I... Wait, can I pick... I can pick locks, can I? Uh, lock picking. Is this going to annoy people? Thank you. Thanks for your stuff. I'm, I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> Sit down in a chair and drink a coffee. Uh, the dome is your new home. Welcome under the dome. This is your new home now for the foreseeable future. So, what is it like? Technically speaking, the dome is an invisible, semi-permeable barrier, most likely created by a force field of unknown nature. The dome covers a large part of the desert, completely isolating it from the outside world. Our scientists believe this allowed the structures, objects, and relics of the forefathers, namely given to the mysterious civilization that created the dome, to remain so well preserved. And we're here to explore all of this. By the way, if you think the desert consists of nothing but sand, you're mistaken. There are extensive salt marshes and deep swamps, rich oases, and rocky ridges under the dome. Let's look for what's located here. Geographically, we've separated the desert into four sectors, north, south, east, and west. There are populated sectors are the east and north. Here is the most large-scale construction work is going on. The biggest excavations are underway, and new highways are being laid. The west of the dome is where one finds salt marshes and white sands, hiding many of the forefathers' underground complexes. The south is desert in the commonly understood sense. The main solar batteries and the power, the power, our pa uh, the power, our systems are installed there. Whatever civilization has gained a strong foothold, we can find its faithful companions, infrastructure, and household comfort. Here at Cronus, we believe that a happy employee is an improductive employee. An obli obli obligatory prerequisite for happiness is the material abundance available to everyone in exchange for money. You can be sure there's no corner under the dome, within the hab habitable zone, of course, where you won't be able to gas up your car, buy high-quality vacuum-packed and thermally protected goods, read the day's newspapers with a cup of coffee, or estimate the movie industry novelties. In addition, all medical fire and repair services are provided to our loyal residents. Adhere to the corporate and security rules are upheld by our security service under Blackwing. In case of vehicle, ve vehicular breakdown, you can always call a tow truck. We also promptly deliver your mail and postal orders from the outside world. Phone numbers for emergency services and all contact information from reception managers for all wings are available on the last page. Once again, welcome under the dome, your new home. 
What tech level is this universe? It's about the 1970s, I think. Hello, Indra. Um, I haven't fixed it. I'm working on it. Where's this? Right, where's, where's these cameras? Where are these? I, cam, 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 cameras? Cam. What's this? Oh, toilets. What's this? Toilet bowl. Broken lavatory. Search. Empty. Oh, it's, it's empty. Where am I? I'm over there. Right, where the friggin... Oh, hello. What's this? It's a thing. It's got... A panacea, a common relic, makes living organisms a little healthier. Okay. And reports on stolen relics. That looks like it's Russian. Uh, so where's my... Can I go inventory? Inventory, right. So can I wear this? Holy shit, I can. What about this? Oh, this black pin. I can wear that as well. So I get... Regen oh, more regeneration, more hit points, more encumbrance. More. Oh, I can get encumbrance. Uh, where's my encumbrance? Because I'm carrying a lot of earth. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Stuffed my pockets full of it. Uh, oh, it's only six of forty-one. That's fine. I can carry. I can carry a crap load more earth. Nine seventies. This is earth. This is earth indeed. Yes, yes. So they found like a big old dome in the desert. Apparently, um, from the sounds of it, it was like invisible, but they found it. So that's good. Uh, so where can I? S right, character quests. Uh. To learn. No. Right. Can we track that one? So where is... I need to find out whether... Can we actually... Let's use the monitors. I might... No, I'm working on it. I'm working... Indra, I'm working on it. Don't worry about it. Let's... Uh, so it's the fourth monitor... Right, the first monitor. Monitor's labelled with a sticker entrance zone. Camera is showing the main entrance and reception desk. Right. Okay. Third monitor displays an empty hall. The young woman in the silver uniform paces back and forth with a stack of leaflets in her hand. Right. Fifth monitor receives signal from a camera monitoring. Right. Okay. So the camera. So the, for the first one, what am I looking for? So the camera should be around here somewhere. Like, is it a hidden camera? What do the cameras? Oh, there's Earth here. Let's go grab his Earth. Steal all the Earth. Where am I? So come over here. We want to steal his earth and rootle around in his drawers, ideally. That's the dream. What's back here? Oh, it's just like electric. I thought I was outlining something. No path. Can I... Oh, open the door. It's locked. Can I lockpick it? Is that... Oh, I need... 25? I can't steal his earth. That's just a kick in the teeth, isn't it? So, how do I fix this? Like, I don't know. Okay, so the second one's there. Do I just do I have to work this out whether the others? Maybe maybe it's a... No, Indra. Every time I walk past and I haven't found what the fuck the problem is, alright? Um, so, first monitor is the entrance zone. Second monitor follows everyone using elevators. Dotted image in front of the space in front of... Okay, third monitor... Displays an empty hall. No, this is just white. No, the stick on with my set is an outlet for the ventilation system. Wait, is oh, so right. So wait, can I can I go back up here? I bet they turned it off. No, I'm Indra. Shut up. I'm working on it. Jesus Christ, slave driver. Play yourself to work. I'm working. Look, we're going to... Right. Go to the surface. Maybe it's not that. How do we get back up? Can we get back up? Maybe Maybe it's... Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Do I want to... Screw it. Let's try going up to the surface. Um, do you employ the minutes? When your quarantine ends, thank you. Viewing ports. 
Uh, Magellan's observation deck is no less interesting. Besides the equipment housed here, ventilation ducts, weather sensors, radio communications array, the deck is something of a promotional project. Here at the height of 96 metres, binoculars have been installed allowing one to view almost every part of the dome in clear detail. One might rightfully claim the East Point observation deck is the most comfortable, uh, more comfortable, but only here can you feel that on top of the world. On top of the world. Looks like a shithole to me, but never mind. You're right, Dustin. Kind of, kind of at the top there, aren't you? Um, Earth is a, that's a good point. Plastics, yes. Take all the plastics. Holy shit! What's this? This elevator is out of order. Is it? Fix binoculars. Let's use the. Uh, you stop near the binoculars. You can see the half erased inscription on the orange case of the device. Western sector. Look into binoculars. The only thoroughfare runs to the desert, uh, runs to the east. Superheated air rises from the gleaming white salt marshes, distorting the image. Bright stripes, barely noticeable against the white sand, precisely sketch the contours of some object. It's too rectangular to be part of the landscape. Uh, Familiarise yourself with the condition of the road. You're looking at the road, a broad highway, especially built for the first search parties. Now it's all cracked and edges of the lane are gone in the sand and overgrown with thorn. At the far end of the asphalt band, there's an old, mostly abandoned camp visible at every, uh, at the very border of the salt marshes. Look at the salt marshes. Hello, Volgrim. Snow is not uncommon to the desert. Polar latitudes or high plateaus, there is no shortage of frozen water there, but the white sparkling spots visible in the binocular to the west of the dome are no snow. Salt marshes occupy a significant area of the sector, instantly waning beyond the barely visible border shining in the air. Maybe once there was an internal uh, salt lake? Maybe the forefathers conducted some large-scale experiments? No one's to tell. Mysterious stripe. At first, it seems like there is it's a reflection from the salt marsh hanging in the hot air, but for a mirage, the object looks too accurate, too massive, and cut out. It's difficult to say what it is. Objects in the Western Dome are studied poorly, and plans for their exploration are shifted to the distant future. Um, this says no oceans to fill with plastic particles. I mean, here there's not. Can we get on top? Oh, I can use a ladder. Let's use a ladder. Let's go and chat with what's his face. He kind of. Are you alright, buddy? Are you gonna. Don't jump. It's a long way down. A man in a blue wing uniform is standing on the edge of the helicopter landing site, uh, hanging over the abyss. Frozen in an unmistakable position, he's weighing right down on the mist-coated plain underneath. I'll, I'll wait. I don't. I, you ne never call someone when he's peeing because he might turn around. That. That's key. His affair settled up. The blue turns around and stares at you. Hiccups in surprise. Oh f damn it! Hi. Wombling drunkly, he wombling. He approaches you, shakes your hand confidently. His fingers are oh, wet. Damn it! He says again, examining his. Oh, for fuck's sake! Apparently trying to make it right, he pats you <laughs> considerably on the shoulder with the same wet hand. Sorry. Well, shit happens. Staggering at each step, he returns to his previous spot and stops on the edge of the landing site. As proud as the statue of a conquering, statue of a conqueror, observing his domain. Well, I regret that. Now I've got wet shoulders and hands. Never mind. Maybe some matches will make it all better. Sure. Uh, right. Good. Uh, so check that. But what's this one? Well, piss. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. So this one looks south of the central sector of the dome. Look in the binocular. It's hot to the south, and everything is gleaming in the sunlight. The reddish sand now orange. Uh, now orange, now brick red, is dotted with solar power stations that gleam in the lens of the binoculars. One of the sandy fields looks strange. You see neither the leans of the highway nor the sparkling of solar batteries there. Right behind it rises a squat silhouette resembling a flat volcano with geometrically regular offshoots. Examine the solar power stations. The edging of the solar power panels glare. It's too painful to look at in the oculars. The working plans, planes themselves look like absolutely black rectangular holes against the background of the orange sand. It is understandable. The more light the surface absorbs, the higher the efficiency. It looks like here it is an inexhaustible source of energy. But sandstorms, dust, extreme temperature fluctuations, wild animals, and the robotic constructs of forefathers make this energy really, really expensive. Um, MA, good game. As scarce can he ever chosen. It was good, wasn't it? Wasn't that good? I enjoyed that. It was really. I was hoping to do some more, but we never really kind of got. Got, should I move my? I'm going to move myself over there, uh, and I'm going to move the alert box over there. Just to, here we go. That's better. Now you can actually read the text. Um, 
Let's take a closer look at the sandy field. Um, at first glance, there is nothing there, only brick colored sand, infinitely stretching in all directions. If there was a war, one might say this looks like a minefield, and it's quite possible this is one. You notice lightning dancing over the sand and ghostly flames flickering. Dome anomalies are no joke for the unwary. Study the volcano. What is the ever chosen? Um, so it's a total war event that um, pits some some of the like the big multiplayers against each other, and as part of that, they had um, Lawmaster Sotek and oh, was it Party Elite? I can't remember. It was it was Lawmaster Sotek and I want to say Party Elite who were who were casting it, and about sort of like a few hours in. Um, me, Nerd Rage Fitness, and um, HDS had had played like a, a, a free for all multiplayer battle um, with Scarstick, Belagar, and Queek versing each other, and it was it was it was a lot of fun. Mostly because I I I started off right in the center. I because I picked all I picked an all goblin army. I dumped them all in the center and then attacked from there, and that was quite entertaining. Um, from afar, the silhouette looks like an ordinary mountain, but taking a closer look, you notice some rhythmic relief, some axis of symmetry, some strange something on the surface, as spurs stretching off to the side, similar to the elements of a power frame. All of this looks alien, but at the same time, gives rise to association with recognisable forms. Lacklern, hello. Can wild animals go... Th I, I think nothing can enter... Because we came in through like a spire at the top, so I don't think anything can get in through the sides. I think you have to go up, and and it's quite tall. When when we were going up, apparently we passed through the cloud layer, so you'd have to be, you know, any wild animal would have to be pretty, pretty, have a lot of perseverance to to get that far. So I don't think they can, um, but there might be some already in here. I don't know. Uh, oh, good it's duct tape. You can never have too much duct tape. What's this way? So this is uh, the binocular faces east. His lenses covered with a visor are ebbing blue and yellow. Okay, look into binocular. The east abounds in signs of civilization. You can even hear low distant rumbling coming from, from there. A large cluster of construction machinery forms a man-made landscape and gives off columns of smoke. Off to the side you can see a complex of squat, utilitarian looking buildings. Their size demands respect. Between these points run strings of telltale yellow dunes and sand drifts. Uh, sorry, Fulgrim, I do not have that. I, I need to sort out. It's on my list of things to do, sort out some commands. Lachlan. Sorry, Lachlan. I'm bad. Um, the eastern direction is where all the action is. There you can find almost all the signs of comfortable life, from gas stations to cinemas. But of course, the construction sites are still thundering with might and main. One of them is your is what you're observing in the binocular construction equipment. Dust pillars, piles, frames shining in the sun. A vague hum and trembling of the earth can be heard even at Magellan. Um, observe the complex. You observe the, of the industrial complexes designed and built specifically for the desert conditions in your binoculars. Factory facilities spread out widely. Modular buildings are huddled to the ground. Smoke from exhaust pipes, dust hanging in the air. The light that won't go out even during daytime. What's well, the game? It's called Encased. It's like an RPG, isometric RPG, kind of like the original Fallout. Uh, sands in the east of the dome correspond to the ideas of proper desert, most of all. Bark hanes constantly changing and shifting from one to the other. Sleepy, smooth dunes, thickets of thorns and rare dry grass. But somewhere under all of this sandy sea, under a grid of rows of construction, pits the ancient tunnels and machines are hiding. Oh, look at that. We we investigated and we learned. Good. Okay, let's, let's go down. Let's go down. Back here now. Minus one. Lobby. That, thanks. Now, it says that it's looking... I don't know where the... I mean, is it here? Uh, apply yourself to work. Oh, shut up, Dean, you prick. I'm going to use this elevator. Um, uh, where is... I feel like maybe... I don't know. I don't know where the, where the security cameras would be. See you later. Fancy. It is fancy. Uh, oh, what's... Oh, hello. What's this? Cool air coming from the vent. You hear the echoes of distant voices from the lower floor. Okay, it's not there. Like Harry Rockwell. Hello, you look fun. Let's have a chat with you. 
Uh, well, come on, why don't you? Uh, muscular Orange is poking around in the Vegas vending machine with his hands in the goods issue slot. Something clattering with a loud echo inside the machine. The out-of-order machine must have failed to release a, a purchased item. Be that as it may, it's your duty to watch and maintain order. At least that's what they taught you in boot camp. They also taught you that nothing good ever came from Orange Wing. Um, I'm going to watch without getting involved. The orange isn't being too careful with the device. The machine is wobbling from side to side, squealing and grinding. A light bar with a black silhouette of a dancing stripper flashes several times, then finally goes out. The orange yanks a handful of wires out the machine, then retrieves a few cups of noodles and cans of soda for himself. I'm going to call him. The orange whirls around. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm serving the dome. Working. Yeah. He slurps nervously, unable to take his eyes off your black uniform. Um, I'm going to... Yes, let's pat him down. Grumbling through his teeth, the thief turns to the wall. You search the orange. In his pocket of his baggy jacket, you discover two cups of noodles and two cans of cherry soda. Ask him what it is and where he got it. Punch the thief playfully on the shoulder and give him back his noodles and soda. Confiscate what you found and advise the orange to stay out of your sight. What? Should, should, we, should we be playful? Are we a playful like security guard? Or are we, are we like hard as nails? I feel like just being like, you know what? The machine wasn't working. Fair enough. You shouldn't have ripped out the wires, but... It's, it's frustrating when you can't get something out of a machine. Going to get killed if you seem weak. Fair enough. Confiscate it. Our card knows what you're talking about. He's a hard nut. Um, and plus I get his stuff. Uh, there's no need to repeat yourself. The thief immediately leaves the gutter machine behind looking dejected. Bye. <laughs> I've got your shit. Thanks. That's fine. Hello, Arcard. And if, if you like some Total War, don't forget to watch Arcard. Because Arcard's really good at Total War. He's better than I am. Um... He can actually play the game competently. There's nothing there. Nothing. There. I don't know where, like, this, the, the, that's the camp mysteries, the underground caves, colour picture of dunes, plants, and animals native. To, hello. Hello, Letitia. And hello, Luca. Hi, Luca. Also, also watch Luca, because Luca's, Luca's great, although she's not, not, not in a, put, she had a wisdom tooth out. She's not, not good at the moment. Poor Luca. Um, Vending machine thief is below a PI's pay grade. Wow. What's your ever chosen battles? New fanatics are beautiful. Were they not beautiful? They sp oh, they spin so gracefully. Spectre, got a meeting to go to where my presence is completely pointless yet required. I've been to those meetings. They are shit. Enjoy. Have fun hunting for cameras. I will. Uh, the girl has a shiny badge reading Latiza Rivieras on a shift on her shirt on a chest, and a stack of glossy leaflets under her arm. Another stack of leaflets is lying on a nearby armchair. The silver paces back and forth on the shiny polished floor and re and recites charismatically a memorized promotional speech consisting of several dull cliches. As soon as you approach, the woman sprints over to you and hands you a leaflet. Take a leaflet. The dome is your new home. An exciting read for the whole family. Um, tell the silver to stuff it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the teaser looks at you, dumbfounded, battering her eyelashes, and then begins to cry loudly, sobbing and smearing the mascara running down her face. Well, now I just feel bad. Good golden sands. <laughs> You'll be a very, very, very delighted to see the local plants a sob. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I was, I was mean. Um, tell her she looks like a raccoon with her smeared makeup and move. Wow. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just no. I'm just gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell her she looks like a raccoon. Jesus. Jesus Christ. That's harsh. Uh, where the friggin' hell is this security... I don't know where the security camera is. Where's the security camera? It says... Oh, uh, you know what? I don't know. This is broken. Let's let's try the broken. You should feel bad. But I do feel bad. I'm going to check the restroom. Is there... No... There's path. There's path. Ooh! Something to search. <laughs> You're not... <laughs> Maybe the monster... Oh, but I, I feel bad. She was, she was just being chipper. And yes, that's annoying, but now I feel like a dick. Oh, I can use the mirror to inspect, inspect my magnificent moustache. You wink at your reflection, you're damn right I do. There's a broken toilet with nothing in it. I could put some paper in it. I'm not going to, though. Oh, I, I get less rad... Oh, good, I lose radiation for apparently using the toilets. Good, good to know. Good to know. I don't think there's anything else here. I think that's... Oh, maybe it's this. Is, is it maybe the public terminals are what's broken? Let's go and check that. Monsters eats dick for breakfast. I eat porridge. It's different. I put extra cinnamon in it and raisins to make it more delicious. Hello. Oh, you're the guy I stole the noodles off, so I'll just ignore you. Fine. Okay, well, 
I don't know where the hell these security cameras are. Frankly, I can't be bothered. So we're just going to go and do some fun stuff instead. So let's go to the elevator. Um, sorry, military post. Uh, let's go to the training grounds. Security officer needs to be ready for anything. Most of the time, the deadliest thing you need to deal with is an, a screaming sergeant and smelly foot bindings, but the dome is devilishly cunning. Bear in mind, as hard as training is at range, someday it will save your life as well as the lives of your comrades. You're now in black. You're in Blackwood now, leaflets. Yeah, damn right. Minus three. Garrison uh, and isolation ward. Hello, beeps. Yeah, I've got a lot of earth on me. Yetto and Vasilis. Okay, good. Good. What's? Oh, look at all this stuff. Right. Okay. What? What do I need to go? Let's, let's go. Now, let's go and chat with, with Yato. Hello, Yato. Next, a metal detector. A typical dome scene is playing out. An orange is standing with his hands behind his head, with a small, angry Asian man in a black uniform pats down the packets of his jumpsuit. The orange sighs. You took my beer and took my chips. What's the deal, Yato? I was sweeping the vehicle entrance. What could I possibly have stolen from the, from there other than sand? The black who says Yato Nakayama glares angrily. How am I supposed to know what you stole? You're a crook. You'd steal anything that isn't nailed down. I mean, to be fair, I can't really judge considering that I've looted multiple potatoes, earth, and for some reason, gun casings from plant pots. But... Uh, Walk up and get... I like getting involved. Let's get involved. Uh, the black backs off a little as you approach. Yato Nakayama, Blackwing, what do you want? Um, convince your fellow black to leave the orange alone. Just observe since you can't do anything. Search him yourself. Like, stand aside, Yato. I am in charge here. Nakayama steps aside and lets you approach Mor Mor Moratis. Um, fine, you pat him down if you want to. Let's see what you find. You search the orange pockets but come up empty-handed. Black just chuckles as he observes you. Yeah, I didn't find anything either, but the son of a bitch definitely swiped something and now I'm supposed to just let him go again? Handyman shakes his head and smiles condescendingly down at the black. Yatto, yatto, yatto. I've never stolen anything in my life and you know it. You know there isn't a damn thing in my pockets. The guard gestures angry. Trying to be clever, eh? Get lost, Moratis. Uh, the orange man walks away, smiling good-naturedly. Bye. Is this paper on the ground? I want paper. Okay, let's have a let's have a chat with Yato. Hello. Um. If years of doing escape rooms has taught me anything, a broken toilet always has a torch and hidden. Really? That's that's that that I I'd never considered. Um. <laughs> can't wait for you to get to find dirt in your pockets. Like, why do you? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't set off the the detectors though. Black nods to you. Come on, please. Okay. But by Yato. Deputy Commandments. Sure, let's go. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Um, do you know what this is? This thing here between my thumb and my pointer finger? It's at my fucking patience, John. There's just a tiny bit of it left. Only a tiny fucking bit left, John. Poor John. It went to the red, John, just like your bonus last month. I'm not demanding results here, and now I need staffing for the Magellan Police Force has been cut to a bare minimum. Um, but you could at least do some work, right, John? Atiano. Oh yeah, Atiano threw Jenkins in solitary for stealing hot dogs and he's he's just punch about it. Who made you commissar anyway? Who's the fucking saboteur? Good question. I'm just hello. See a tall nervous woman with a steaming cup of coffee in her hands. The glittering badge on chest bears name Ida Grace. Sipping her coffee nervously, Grace is dressing down a private standing at attention in front of her. You're not a soldier at all, you're rats. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to the police inside the dome. Uh, she pauses to check her email on a communicator. Grace shoves the communicator back in her pocket and continues. You'll get anything to say about that jolly boy? No? What about you, Antonio? What about the thieves who've been stealing relics, poisoning the staff with drugs, befouling Magellan like cockroaches? Maybe you caught them. No? Well, why not, assholes? She pivots to face you. What brings you here? Come to see the thrice uh, three ring circus complete with trained shitheads? Well, they've come to the right place. Jesus. Um, I'll just salute. A, s a satisfied grin flashes across Ida's, Ida's annoyed face. She turns to the soldier. At least someone hasn't forgotten he's on duty. Hey, I'm talking to you, maggots. She salutes as you approach. At ease, soldier. I'm not much for chit-chat, so here it is. Are you running to prove yourself because we have enough little boys and girls running around pretending to be soldiers? Is that John's wife? <laughs> um, I'm not a fan of games like this, but it seems pretty fun, mainly humour. Uh, <laughs> he did not hide things in his pockets. Well, maybe. Oh. Uh-oh. He, no, he, maybe he didn't hide things in his pockets. Um, it just reminds me of Rick and Morty. Um, are you ready to prove yourself? Because we had a blow. I'm talking about you, shitheads. Uh, say you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready to help. Grace glances meaningfully at John, who's now silent, and Antonio, who's sitting at the terminal. 
Um, did you hear that? Even the newbie has more ambition than you two. Jeez, that, I mean, that's just going to get me in trouble, isn't it? The black finishes a coffee and crushes the cup in our hand. <laughs> probably was like, probably ceramic, just smashes it. Here's what's happening. I have no idea what these whites are up to, but there are experiments going on all over the dome. And for the experiments, the scientists need volunteers. Well, I mean, volunteers. Ida makes a gesture with her fingers, symbolising quotes. She glances at communicator again. Why is it taking that arsehole so long to write a simple email? Uh, what was I talking about again? Right. In the Orange's contracts, they agree to participate in scientific programs, but the bastards suddenly remember they have rights, and so now I get the word the rats are huddled in corners whispering about an escape. They want to abandon their responsibility to Magellan and form a street gang in some lockdown facility. Fantasy crap like that. Um, I've heard that in prison you're supposed to go to the boss and punch them, then no one will mess you. You know what you have to do, Monsters Bound. I'm, I mean, I don't know who the boss is, but I'm, I'm not in prison. I'm, I'm like, the, I'm like prison guards. I'm, I'm, I, I should be. I should be not punching people. Should I not be? Pu I should be patting them down, shouldn't I? You know, cavity searching, that kind of thing. Uh, Grace steps forward, looks you straight in the eye. If they're really planning escape, I can't allow it to happen. I need your help. Um, who do you think's behind escape? Ida bears her teeth. It's that sh asshole Lindberg. Lindberg. Who else could it be? That that smart ass ship healed fucker reeks of conspiracy. Wow. Uh, inquire about the nature of these experiments. Uh, Grace finishes demolishing the remaining bits of coffee cup in her fist. That's what I heard anyway. There's, facility, uh, there's a facility where they're transporting people from one place to another. But I'm spaced out on what it's called. Um, say that the device is called a, a teleporter. Or the correct scientific term. I could be a... Can I, should I be a nerd? And the black's fingers crumple the cup up flat. Yeah, right. A teleporter. Are you by any chance related to these experiments? I just wondered. Ask what you should do. Killer with a potato. Two potatoes, just either side of the head, just smash. In a prison. Logically, it's the same thing, right? Well, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I did punch someone to death um, to start off with. My first interaction with the game was me punching someone literally to death, giving them the old one too. So, you know, um, I don't know if it was the big cheese, though. Uh... Ida pushes, uh, brushes a speck of dirt off the chevron on his shoulder. Here's your internal information, Grunt. The Blackwing has its own network of informants. One of them is named Abner Adam Adamidis. He works on the laboratory for mopping the floors and squeaking like a rat. Junior employees aren't usually allowed to question informants, but I'll make an exception for you. You can ask Adamidis. Maybe he knows something about the escape. Soon to report that you're ready to complete the task. Grace touches a cat with the right hand. Addy, soldier. He turns to his subordinates. John, Antonio, you two get that? Learn, you boneheads. I bet they really like me. Anything but the potatoes. Um, so you didn't take the right guy. Maybe she was the boss? Dunno. Well, I I mean... <laughs> a good strike, Grace. I feel like that's a bad idea in front of the machine gun turret. That's... I, I just feel like, you know, punching, punching someone in front of the machine gun turret could... Could be considered a bad, bad option. I don't do it. Okay, well, let's let's save the game first. And then we'll... Punch her. Okay, give her the old one, too. We got this. Gotcha. Strike. I mean, I don't have any weapons. Uh-oh. Oh, at least it deactivated. I mean, that's... That's good. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hello. I missed. Okay, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's not the worst thing that can happen. Who, oh, there's lots of people having their goes because I've literally pissed off the, <laughs> the whole of Blackwing. Apparently everyone's like, no, fuck you. Give her the old one-two. No, it didn't work. Okay, strike. <laughs> Critical damage. He's got a gun. He's he's got a gun. She's got a gun. <laughs> okay, so so okay, so what did we learn there? Um <laughs> I mean, okay, sure. That that didn't work out as okay, so you know, we we've learned we probably don't want to piss off the whole of Blackwing at the same time. That's It's probably bad. Let's let's rootle around in in their plant pots as is tradition. Another potato. That makes three potatoes. All the potatoes. Uh, more paper and... Oh, some com combons. 
Delicious cumbons. I'm going to take all your paper. What's your computer? No path. Okay, we'll find out about that. Uh, the schnip, what did you miss? Um, I, I tried punching my, my boss to death. Turns out, wasn't a good idea. He <laughs> didn't learn anything. He died. I mean, yes, that's true. Uh, you don't kill. He constantly tried to calm her while smirking the whole time. I mean, that would that would do it. Hello, what are you, what are you doing on the floor? Are you okay, buddy? I'm standing on your face. Okay, never mind. I'm going to search for Janice's gear. What's in here? Her blank soap produces a nice lava smelling of mint and lemon. According to the ads, kills up to 99% of bacteria. Oh, it's mine now. Arkad manipulated Monster Man. He did, but I, I saved beforehand. Like, I, I kind of I kind of guessed it would be a bad idea. Um, turns out, it was. Hello, Abigail Swift. How are you? A middle-aged woman gives you a friendly smile. Hello, please sign the petition to forbid these horrible uh, entertainments. Ask what she means. Uh, refuse and add that you actually like the games while she's making a mountain out of a molehill. What do you mean? Games! In each terminal, each communicator, all these falling cubes and flying balls look innocent, but they do zombify people, distract them from work, cause violence. It's one step from bloodshed. Sign the petition. Save the human race. Um, I actually like games, um, but I, I do feel like, you know, they should be wiped out for everyone. So, she was you. Oh, thank you so much. I wish there was more people like you. I know. There we go. Ah, I'm a hypocrite. Because I'm playing games while signing a petition in-game to ban games. That is meta. Okay, what else can we find? More matches. You can never have enough matches. Was oh, that a plant pot? Might find another potato. You never know. Nope, just earth. Okay, we'll take the earth. We'll take everything, because that's how I roll. Steal everything. Leave nothing. Ooh, look. Got, uh, some cumbons and some shells and earth. That was a bonanza. Rare earth minerals. Sure, that's... I mean, yeah, I... I sure, whatever. Locked. Can I unlock it? Can I pick the lock? One of 50. Nope, cannot pick the lock. Okay, we searched everywhere. I need to, um... I need to do some training, but I don't know where to go. And the rogues take the lead again. What's going on? Is it a game? What's going on? Uh, baseball games playing on TV. Judging by the billboards passing on the screen, it's a fairly old recording. There aren't that that many sponsors yet. The overpresent Donnie Reynolds supplies and Vixen guns interchange, taking up almost all the advertising space. However, the stands are absolutely packed. The Crystal Sands rogues dressed in their striped gear on the field, playing against the Huskies. Watch. A corpulent sports commentator in horn-rimmed glasses appears in the bottom right of the screen. It's me, Bob Pearsons, broadcasting live for you again. The girls have just left the field and waiting for the most important game of the season in the Brush League. Today, the Huskies from Encourage will meet the tough guys for, uh, uh, on Crystal Sands, a new town outside the Dome. It's from the floor with a toothbrush. Damn right. Uh, Parsons all but climbs into the camera lens. If you've only just recently come out of a coma or spent the last couple of years in cryosleep, I'll tell you what these guys represent. The rogues are the major sp um, sports discovery in recent memory. They are the gladiators of a new era, a baseball team comprised of ruthless motherfuckers who a short while ago were doing time in penitentiaries all over the world. Okay. Um... Commentator disappears from the screen, but his voice remains. You, Rendell, the most sought-after arms robber in Berlin, the most effective outsider in the league this season. Now he... Ah, uh, you know what, I get the idea. Hello. What's going on, Jason? Hey, Jason. Let's have a chat with Jason. Hi, Jason. An orange is scrubbing the floor with a tireless gaze for Black standing next to him and barking out orders. Guard touches uh, the rag with the tip of his boot. You're doing it wrong, Rain. In response, the orange mumbles gruffly into his long grey beard without lifting his head. I'm doing the best I can. You don't like it, mop it yourself. Or maybe you can train a monkey to do it in your spare time. Um, intentionally trot on the clean part of the floor as you move away. Rain shakes his rag at you. You big ape, watch your fucking step. What a dick. Hello, who's this? It's, um, oh, I can't. Who, who is it? Oh, I can barter. You have nothing. Austin Bergman. Hello, Austin. Uh, Sorry, security guard shakes his head, obviously annoyed. I'll tell you one more time. You did it right during the test, but now you're just spreading dirty water everywhere. You're making a circular motions, but you need to zigzag. Zigzag! Grey bearded floor scrubber size. I had a hangover during the cleaning test and my hands were shaking, but circles worked much better, really. Um, 
Anna Ranas, hello. Uh, what, what do we think? Is what? What? I mean, I'm, I'm. I, I feel like more like the circular motions are indeed better. But is is the zigzag a better cleaning method? I don't know. Um, opening it up to the crowd. What does the crowd think? Is is zigzag or circles? Um, interference. Say that moving the mop. I have no idea what's going on. But zigzag is all, zigzag is what. All right, fair, fair play, zigzag. Black thumps himself proud with his chest. You see, the orange crawling on the floor with his rag size again. <laughs> Just like whatever. Uh, oh, good. Plastic. Good. I'm going to loot everything. No one is safe. I'm going to take all your shit. It's nothing found. Oh, rubbish. Broken scissors and nails. Sure. Who keeps broken scissors in there? More broken scissors, normal scissors, and springs. I mean, I'm very close to actually not having enough room for everything. Um, so this is encased. It is... A classic sort of isometric RPG, kind of like, uh, oh, look at all this! Holy shit! Nice. Um, kind of like Fallout, the old Fallout. And uh, it's set in 1970s Earth, and they found like a big, a big, like a massive dome. What's this? Energon, belt item. A stimulant that effectively produces vigor and high performance. It's based on something, 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 and uh, sure, I'll take all that. Um, so it's like a big dome covers like 30,000 kilometers and you can go in but you can't come out and there's a whole bunch of like weird stuff and technology inside um so like the world's governments have set up an organization to uh find out what what these things are and we we're kind of we're we're part of black wing which is a security arm of the organization and we're sort of helping out in security and We've, we've just literally just been dropped into the dome and I'm just taking everything. I'm, I think it was invisible. Semi-transparent light panel. Oh, yeah, have got a vending machine. No, I don't know. Oh, boxes. Um, so I think it was invisible. They couldn't see it. Kind of hard to miss. Well, yes, admittedly, that was my thinking. You, you can't really miss a 30,000 kilometer... Oh, instant coffee. Sure. Um... A spell item. Can I, can I wear any of this? Like, I've got 49 cum bonds. That's nice. Um, yeah, I mean... Ooh, canned ham. Oh, I can make canned ham. Can I make canned oh, I can't make canned ham. Roasted rat tail, fried rat eye, roasted roach legs. I mean, that got... I mean, you know, heated canned ham. I'm like, okay, no problem. Suddenly we go fried rat eye. I'm like, mm, fried cockroach egg. I'm, 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 okay, sure. Sure. Um, maybe it's actually a Decepticon. Decepticons are always more fun, weren't they? It's always more fun to be bad. It's a twin tail comet fiasco all over again. Holy shit. You could be right. What's this? Electrical equipment? Yeah, take that. Uh, right. That's that's the that's the bathroom. Is there anything in the bathroom? Anything useful? Anything interesting? Oh, no. Okay, so I'm looking for... Hello. Is this... Maybe... Right, maybe it's this, because we're looking for, like... We need to register and get our training done, so... Where am I? There I am. Let's just... Mose uh, yeah, we need to open the door. Let's have a chat with John. Hi, John. How's it going? Black looks at you absently. His thoughts somewhere far away. What about Antonio? These were the guys that were getting chewed out, and then I came in and basically was uh, was a bit of a dick. Antonio Aguari, security officer, reads a dame plate on the table. Only then do you notice Aguari himself, a skinny, bespectacled young soldier bent over a glowing screen. Say you've come to see someone. Looks up anxiously. Really? Who exactly? Will you tell me their last name at least? Say you aren't going to miss anyone. <laughs> Muttering something with displeasure, Antonio turns back to his kid. I've come to see what someone. Who? No one. Dick. I'm such a, I'm just a I'm just such a prick. Good morning, catch. RPG one away. Can you drink the toilet water? Oh good question. You can use the toilet. Apparently, reduces rads. There we go. I'm gonna who's this guy? Hello. Hi. Uh, a lean, dark-skinned silver with hard hair and a huge cigar between his teeth is sitting in front of you. As you approach him, he gives you a 
tick, a trickish grin and slowly raises a hand with the widespread fingers above the table. Something really weird happens. All the paper clips, pencils, spread toothpicks, and all the kinds of little bits of trash that were lying on the table soar up and hang in the air. The silver coloured badge reads Andre Mahai, Sci Instructor. Does it as well. Uh, freeze, looking in astonishment at the soaring object. Screw up your face skeptically. You can't be fooled by parlor tricks. Approach the table calmly as if nothing is happening. Yeah, it's just. Chill. Give me your hand, he demands. Before you can answer, grab your hands with his strong brown fingers. Uh, Andre groups your hand with concentrated effort. Do you practice bells, bulbs, brushing mugs off the table? Aha! Ask what he means. Silver pulls a, uh, takes a pull at his cigar and with a self-important air lets out a puff of smoke. Psionics, it's a gift for all of us. The forefathers got it off. Puh. And they're gone. Only the dome remains in this. The psionics. Aha! He sits back in his armchair, puffing at his cigar. The toothpicks spread all over the table again, start to move and soar up slowly. Um, taking a good shit cures radiation sickness. I thought this was common medical knowledge. Eh, there we go. Um, I, I did not know that, but in the event that I ever um, irradiated, I will take a massive dump. Uh, Mahai spreads out his brown hands. Toothpicks are soaring above his table like a like a gloriola. Gloriola. The scientists say people have characteristics called the psyche. You have it. I have it. Everyone does. Aha, your psyche is big. You know it. You've got talents. The psyche is small. No talent. You'll be getting light from a cigar lighter all your life. Ask him to teach you how to use your size skill. The uh, adjusts you to approach the table. Ah, that's easy. Can you clean a rifle? Tie a shoelaces? It's the same here. You can learn it in the same way. The same talent is required. Aha. He takes off his body uh, coloured glove. So thin that you notice it only now. Look, there's a glove, right? But this is not a simple glove. This is holy mamma mia, mia glove. It takes the energy from your coconut, your psyche, and whop, concentrates it. Um, Silver opens a drawer and takes out another glove, smelling of iron and talc. Here you go. Aha! I've got more. Ask him to show you some. Um, oh, can we? Can we? Can we do it? Uh, ask him to show you some tricks. Ask him some tricks. Sure. Doesn't take the psychic long to think. A small combon coin soars from the table, and then an invisible force implodes the coin, middling it. Crumpled like a cardboard circle, the coin drops into a glass, almost full of coins in the same state. Um, okay. Um, how did it get it start? The silver takes a pull at his cigar and with a self-important air lets out a puff of smoke. Psionics, it's a gift for all of us. Oh, you told that. Okay, move away. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Did we get a glove? Boff. Hand to hands. I can I can psionic people now. Psionic the shit out of them. Which cures radiation. Um, more matches, more stuff. Sure, I'm just going to loot his office. Everything. It's mine now. All his paper clips. What's this? More potatoes? Yes, I'll take that. And boxes. More paper. I'll take the paper. Thanks. And he's got... Oh, he's got some... Some pot plants. Yep, more guns. An empty bit. Okay, well... I'll take all of that. Do we have, like, unlimited space? I think we've got, like, unlimited space. It's just depends on how much we're carrying so I will just take everything I guess I mean can't hurt can it so look um encumbrance I'm only 17 out of 41 so I feel like that's probably fine I can sort it nice good all the all the guns medipack that could go there but I don't want it to uh sure sure this is fine more combons. I should really be like... Oh, potatoes. I should really be like... Um, more potatoes. Med kits. Combon. I mean... My training. What's this? A steroid drug with mixed effects. Provokes short-term rush of blood to the muscles. Increasing stamina, re reaction rate, and overall body tone. Caution. There are contradictions. Do not use during the recovery period. Okay. Noted. Oh, scientific terminal. Uh, the computer's covered with a thick layer of dust. Looks like no one's touched it for a very long time. Press a couple of buttons. Uh, uh, try, I'll try and switch it on. Switch toggles on and with a satisfying mechanic. Okay, press a couple of buttons. You press several buttons, but nothing happens. Let's try to switch. Uh, no, well, it's not working, is it? It's not doing anything. Nothing found. Oh, stuff. Uh, what? Can we ring, 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 ring? Hello. Continuous beep. Okay, no one to call, apparently. More combons. Okay, I think right. Let's let's try and find. Like this looks like the armory, right? This we should, we should be able to get a gun. 
The black black wing. We should be able to get a gun, surely. Hello, Gunther. How's Gunther? A heavily armed black wing soldier is, is watching over the warehouse security door. His face above the chin is obscured by a smoky grey of a hardened glass visor. According to the metal plate on his chest, the soldier's name is Gunther Hass. Um, that's where you get armour like this. Gunther looks surprised. This should have been explained to you at boot camp. Reinforced armour is only issued at staff sergeant rank or above. Um, why are you needed? Soldier inclines his head with the overhead lamps reflecting off his visor. It's hard to read his expression, but he sounds angry. Stay on top of your email, Private. A special order was circulated to all staff this morning. Security measures have been tightened due to an uns unspecified terrorist threat. Oh, I haven't... That's... that's. Do I have emails? Um, inventory. Data. Oh, I can't be bothered to read emails. What am I like? Locked. Can I open it? Pick the lock. No. Okay, apparently we can't go in and talk to Mar that that lady. Sure. Okay, fine. What's in here? Punch him. Our cards, you can't just punch everyone you meet. Not everyone. Some people, sure, but not everyone. What's in here? Earth. Good. Right, let that, right let's, let's have a quick look at uh, quests because... Right, you're right at Magellan Station. You should master the relics. Right, uh, uh, you should collect your field. Right, on F Kel Kelvin McPherson, the storekeeper, floor two. We're on floor three, aren't we? So we need to go floor two. Let's go to floor two. Go to floor two. Get a stuff. Um, is Battlefield? I really like Battlefield Gothic. Yeah, I just felt the campaign just dragged. Uh, most safety measures should be obvious. Always wear your helmet within the warehouse. Don't open any relic containers without authorization. Be careful. The cost of property damage throughout the employee negligence, including rents, will be deducted from your wages. Don't turn your back on orange wing employees unnecessarily or for a significant length of time. Floor Fair enough. Minus two, warehouse and parking lot. Oh yeah, parking lot. Okay, good. Um, yeah, it, it does get grindy, but it is it's fun. So we need to talk to McPherson. So. McPherson, that's Erwin, Oya, Sti right, who, where, Mc, Mc, you? No, that's Erwin, where's McPherson? Looking for someone important in a room somewhere, probably. Um, this is the warehouse. Ah, that's Calvin, hello. Right, let's go and have a chat with, there he is, he's at, right at the window, hello. Storekeeper, Calvin McPherson is leaning against the shelf, looking bored. He perks up when he sees you and raises his hand for a high five. I mean, you can never leave a high five hanging, so, can, yeah. You return the gesture with a satisfying slap on Calvin's outstretched hand. The storekeeper gives you a thumbs up. You're my kind of person. Okay, now let's get down to business. Um, I've come for equipment. Ask for about the a souvenir, the helm of the first settlers. What? Uh, equipment. Calvin probably eyes your jumpsuit. I mean, you don't look like you're ready for the desert. Let me explain. Um, Calvin solemnly gestures the package on the table. According to the rules, I should give you a short briefing, but technically it is optional. I am ready to hear the briefing. I should probably... probably listen to the briefing. Uh, McPherson assumes a lecturer's pose. A basic field kit and uniform is issued to employees every two years. If any part of the kit is defective or gets damaged for reasons beyond the employee's control, the company will pay for a placement. Blackwing recruits get a black and brown jacket, army pants with an ammunition pouch and tactical belts, multi-purpose boots, and yes, a cap featuring the Kronos logo. Logo. I'd say you've made a great choice, if you had a choice, that is. Uh, Kelvin returns the items, the package, and hands it to you. What else? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, they don't give out weapons in the warehouse, go to the armory on level 3, and another thing. He rests his hand on the package. Gloves and headgear are not included, but I strongly recommend purchasing those, and you'll need adequate protection from dust, sunlight, radiation, and other hazards. Where would one make such a purchase? Why, right here, of course. From me. Grab your gear and tell Kelvin you'd like to barter with him. I would like to barter. Because we've got a lot of shit. Um, quite a bit. I've never finished a campaign because it becomes rather samey after while your mileage mate. Yeah, I, I also found, particularly with like the Tyranid campaign, was that you, there was a quest mission to um it was the it was the craft world one and holy shit it was so hard i like it, it comes up at a point where i don't think you're ready for it um but overall very good can i can i sell these I can, oh i can do that okay would you like a wooden 
bar. Oh, it's quite useful. Uh, broken scissors. Are they actually useful? Uh, you can make a shiv, probe, or lockpick out of them. Oh, well, that sounds quite, actually quite useful. No, I want my scissors. Give me my scissors back, you jerk. What about paper? That doesn't... Yeah, have, have the paper. Have all my paper. What else? Um... Beer? I'll just... Right, that, that's fine for the moment. I, I'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, let's get jackets. Oh, look at that. Sexy. Holy shit. Nice. Looking looking good. I should I should probably buy a helmet, shouldn't I? Uh, barter with you. Sure. Ooh. Teleglasses. That sounds quite good. Ordinary backpack. So it reduces... Oh, it, so... Reduces our encumbrance. Gives small belt slots. Fine. Sell the potatoes, but potatoes could come in useful. Look, large common tuber may be consumed raw if you're desperate, but is far better boiled or fried in oil. That, I mean, we've got glue. Mm, maybe not. Um, what we got? We've got that. Okay, so you can sell your... Okay, sure. Um... I don't want to keep all of this. <laughs> like such a pack out. Oh, such a hoarder. I'm just like uh, rare earth materials. That could come in really useful. What if I? What if like? And I, I'm, I'm one of those people who will like literally get to the end boss, be one hit away from the end boss, and be like, I can't use that healing potion. I've had it all game. It's got sentimental value now. I should probably. I mean. By the spade shovel. Oh, yeah. I can hit people with a shovel. An ordinary spade. It's a melee weapon I can hit people with. That sounds quite fun. Um, so, we got... We got the... So, that's that... Right, we can trade that. I kind of want the helmet. We'll take the helmet. Do we want... I mean, do we have... I'm not sure about the gloves. Belt slots. That sounds quite fun, doesn't it? Air gun power lets. Ooh. I kind of want... Like, that, that's a very expensive backpack, though. So I get the shovel. I get the shovel. Um, so I then need to... The, the earth has literally no value, but it has... Uh, you know, I, I feel like maybe it has sentimental value now. Um... Get rid of the cars. Give me two. I've got. Eat it. What? Eat the eat the dirt. Oh, card. Why are you trying to make? Why 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 are you trying to make me do bad things? You're like my devil angel. Energy and belt item. Oh, I don't know what that does. I guess it's like a reusable thing. So maybe we want to keep that. Um. Can we? do that okay that i mean we, we've got we've got 10 rare earth metal so i feel like looting everything is is the way forward some of this is in russian apparently um that makes sense considering the developers are russian i guess they haven't translated everything sell the springs but springs see with a little effort you can find a spring for every need and what about a need for every spring i just i don't know um I'm, I, I don't like getting rid of stuff. <laughs> well, gloves. Okay, let's, uh, I don't want to do that. Do I? Uh, we can always... How much is that? 36. Should we get a gas mask? What's that do? I want a gas mask instead. Let's get a gas mask. And let's get... Um, work gloves? Defense class is one. Defense class one. I mean, they are better. So we could do something like that. And also then maybe... I mean, piece of cloth. I mean, I could reduce the amount of this. Sure. So we do that. Then... I could advise you... Keep, well, it's because you keep telling me to do bad things. Oh, look at this. Now we've got a gas mask on. Holy shit. 
And I've now got a spade to hit people with. That, that's key. I feel like a spade to hit people with. Very useful. And some gloves. Yeah, looking, looking swish. Uh, ask about Souvenir, the helm of the first settlers. Kelvin looks over you with evident interest. Wow, you know people who brought bonds don't often end up under the dome. In fact, I'd say they're actually less likely to end up here than other people. Maybe they think they've already helped enough? Sorry, got a little distracted there. The helm, you say. Kelvin takes a box from the nearest and puts on the counter in front of you. You pull back the couple of flaps and look inside. The helm nestled amidst balls of crumpled packing paper really does look grand. The surface is mirror-like chrome with a large chronos enabled. Um, damn it, why didn't I buy a bonds? Take it, it's yours. How else can I help? Uh, Blurt out a joke. You wave Calvin over and he hovers over you, facetiously putting a hand to his ear. A joke, you say? Come on then, out with it. Um, ask for a cudgel made with full fudge technology. The storekeeper throws up his hands with a smirk. No problem, by the way, our boss takes it to the bathroom. No idea why, but I thought you should <laughs> Wow. Wow. Um, oh, okay, that's just a better hat then. 333. Three, three. And that's four, but that does more stuff. I guess that's like a special one. Okay, well. Now we've got a jaunty hat. And at least we can still see our Magnum PI moustache. So I'm okay with that. That's fine. Um, there is method in the madness. Is there? Now back. Anyone duty in there? Hello. Open up. Oh, okay. Let's, let's help the man. Fucking crap. Holiday. Hello. Uh, dull thumps can be heard from behind the gates. Technician at the terminal pulls off his headphones and scans the area uneasily. Give me a break. I told you not to hammer on the door. It's a vehicle entrance. Instead of the answer, heavy, angry blow and incomprehensible shout come from behind the gate. Um, I'll order, yeah, open up the gates. The technician refuses. No way. Forget it. The gate is automatic and it's solid, reliable equipment. More importantly, if I bar bypass the program and open it, it'll cause a malfunction. He shakes his head in irritation. The officer who's pacing a parapet upon the load loading day loading dock stops and listens intently i recognize that voice open the gate that's kepler he went out on a mission this morning and a couple of hours before the storm warning do you hear me open the bloody door technician looks up at the blackwing officer with extreme displeasure i don't know about kepler but even if joseph and the holy virgin herself were knocking that door is automatic what am i supposed to do break open the panel knock out the fuse and pray that it will spring open anyway you're not from my department where the hell do you get off ordering me around um Hint to the technician that he's running the risk of turning all of Blackwing against him. Yeah. Through the blue, um, though the blue tries to hide how intimidating he is, the threat works. Okay, fine. I'll get it open. I'll open it. Technician looks at you and Moreau again. He sighs, lifts up the panel, pulls out a fuse from amidst the mess of cables inside and presses a button. Rumbling and scraping, the massive door begins to shift upwards. By the strobe of the flashing scarlet lights, you see two huge figures in Blackwing servo shell. One of the fighters is wounded, and the second is lugging him with great effort. Duty officer, dispatch, code 21, code 21, get the doctor. Having dragged the wounded men, man to the garage, the fighter props himself up by a wall and falls down, exhausted nearby. A doctor, stat. The chest plate of the armour is covered with a thick layer of desert dust. The surname Kepler stamped on one side is still readable. He tears off his helmet and it hangs his sweaty head under the streams of cold air flowing out from the air conditioner. You shift your gaze to the wounded man. His crushed, lacerated armour is covered in blood and hydraulic fluid. There is no bullet hole, but judging from the abundance of blood, this soldier is at death's door. Any kind of unskilled interference may well kill him. I'm, I'm unskilled. I probably... Should, should I? Should I? Should I use the injector? Is that... Kill him. <laughs> this is a trap. Should I? It says unskilled. I don't... The problem is I'm not sure if I am skilled. <laughs> injector. Searching through the pockets for uniform, you find a maximum medical injector, a sophisticated emergency first aid device. The black is rapidly fading. You remove his helmet, press the injector to the side of his neck and press the button. The soldier screams and his eyes open wide. He's fully conscious again. Is that good? You don't have long uh, to wait long. A few minutes later, an old thin fellow in a white lab coat appears in the warehouse, accompanied by two gloomy looking oranges and a technician. The blue deals with the armor's locks in easily. After evaluating the victim's status, the doctor injects a few cc's of painkillers into him, steps aside to let the oranges through. The silent attendants load Holiday onto a gurney and roll him away. The doctor and technician leave shortly after. Only you and Kepler are left standing beside the ruined servo shell. Hello. I've got Blackwing reputation. Kepler stands by the lacerated armor, staring vacantly into space. When you greet him, he turns and nods dully. Is Holiday going to be fine? He asks absentmindedly, addressing no one in particular. Um... 
asking about the circus yes what was yeah, kepler expression grows serious we signed the agreement what happened there remains there no discussing it say that, uh, that a, a, as a black queen employee you have the right to know about possible threats to your life uh, or i can use my conviction level one let me just ask you a few questions uh, your logical argument persuades him fine but only because it might save your life Black leans to speak to you here. We left early in the morning and we're moving along Route 12 at a good clip. The sky looked different, really strange. The clouds were glowing. A storm was rising, a big one with powerful little funnel clouds closing all over. And one by one, the cars all stopped dead. People got out there were immediately knocked down in the gale. Holiday, I told him to stay put, but he was so... Of course, he didn't listen to me. He rushed out there to save those scientists, and then I saw something. Kepler takes you by the shoulder. It's obvious he's struggling with the anxiety. At some point, one of those twisters had roared up on us. It grabbed Holiday and threw him to the ground. Then it did it again, like it was mad at him. After that, just a wall of sand. All those people that Holiday were trying to save, I never saw them again. The black goes silent. For a moment, a smile uh, creases Kepler's stern face. He loves wacky jokes and pizza. He scored high in all of his training metrics, but discipline is lax. Sometimes Charlie acts like a complete imbecile, but I couldn't care less. He's the best. I'd give my life for that dumbass, he adds. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hope you like my spade. We're helping people. Yeah. Oh, more rare earth. Excellent. Excuse me. I'm, I'm just here to... I'm, I'm inspecting goods for springs. That's... Thank you. Bye. Oh, hello. Oh, damaged server shell. Don't touch, but I want to touch it. I want to get inside of it. I want to I want to loot it. I want to carry it around and then sell it to someone for some springs. Nothing found. Rubbish. Uh, oh, more springs. Lovely. Um, I'm going to, like, they say this game is about 15 to 20 hours. I, I reckon it's probably going to take you more like um, 100, mostly because I'm going to want to loot everything. More boxes. Springs. Lovely. Hello. Tim. Hi, Tim. Loading dock is overwhelmed with constant noise of giant machinery. A grungy mechanic in oversized headphones weighs you over. What are you going? Departures? That's at uh, gate three. This is boarding. Ask about his work. Denishin slaps his headphones with both his hands. Seems like he's been barely here. You. My work? Well, my work is easy peasy. The main goal is to maintain the elevator running, and that's it. Otherwise, you're free to do whatever you want. Dream job, I tell you. That does sound pretty good, actually. Makes more DACA. That's it. We can actually make guns, I think. Have we got, have we got gun making? Uh, what is it? Ca character. Can we see skills? Skills and abilities. So. Uh, survival. Bandage. Tech. Mechanics. Gunsmithing. Oh, we don't have gunsmithing. But we should do gunsmithing at some point. <laughs> 400 hours later, MA is still looting. I mean, it's not my fault. It's, it's There's so much stuff to loot. Oh, and I keep looting the same fucking... There we go. Right, good. Hello, Pavel. Hello. Um, judging by the grease stained blue uniform, you're looking at one of the mechanics responsible for preparing equipment for missions. He's looking gloomily at the orange truck. The mechanic looks up at you. What do you think? I'm going to ask you for help, and you're going to go, yes, sir, right away and fix everything? Well, fuck you. Fuck you twice. Wow. Uh, find out what's wrong with the truck. Technician theatrically throws that ends up in the air. How should I know? What am I? I'm a cat. He stops and scratches his head. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's broke. All MM's machines are either broken down or about to break down. The blue spits. He's fun. Um, is he hitting on us? What, the, the spitty man? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, if he wants to hit on us, I can hit him back with a spade. Ah, oh, look at all the rare earth. So good. What's, what's down here? I, I just want to... I want to push him. Just like... Bye. The blue mutters to himself. Uh, tears up the floor and... Just to find a rat's nest? That's totally stupid. Hey, I see you there. Come out! Uh, apparently we've a trapper. We can help, but we, we can't because we're not a trapper. Not a trapper. Ooh, what's going on in here? This looks fun. What's over there? What's this? What's this? Oh, oh yeah. Let's go and have a chat with Oya. Um, kind of want to go go in there and loot everything though. Um, but let's. Uh, you're not busy. Come here, please. Hello. A woman in an administrator's uniform is looking around, clearly lost. Are you? As you get closer, you read her name. Oya Ramerson, trainee administrator. She begins a strong uh, speaking a strong Scandinavian accent. Listen, can you help me? Two oranges are skipping work. Verk. Uh, they're unpleasant people, and I'm afraid to talk to them. She looks down at her feet. 
Uh, oh, sure, why not? Oh, it opens the folder and rifles through the pages. Let's see. Their names are Erwin Immelman and Theodore Lari. Sveldov and McPherson are expecting them. Let them know. Erwin and the I thought I saw El Elwin, didn't I? Was he down like here? Erwin, there he is. Let's go down and have a chat and see if we can make him do what we want. I do the same in games. I started playing Assassin's Creed Origins of the day and I had a quest to rescue the guy. I killed all the guards and he started screaming at me to save him, but Lucian came first. <laughs> right? It's more interesting. Uh, while passing the orange ring utility or you can stop where you hear a pair of quarrelling voices on the other side of the door. Two people are discussing a plan for some kind of robbery, or at least you heard the word robbery loud and clear in the midst of their bickering. Um, let's continue listening. Pressing your ear to the door, you're able to pick up every word. From behind the door comes the click of a lighter and a heavy sigh. Cowboy, why do you have to be so damn stubborn? The plan is fine. We just need to solve the problem of the cameras. Go rub shoulders with Blues. Think it's over. Maybe there's some sort of signal jam we could use. Get the cameras turned off and distract Calvin. I'll take care of the rest. The second voice is quieter and more muffled. Something about this has me shitting my pants, Theo. It's too freaking risky. How about we just rob the Vega? Harry can cut one of them open like it's a can of beans. Or maybe we could just break them open, hmm? About to break your face open, your knucklehead. The first speaker is obviously nervous. Why the hell do you have to look up to that moron. Harry busts his ass for us for free soda and some noodles. What I'm suggesting is so easy, it's like, take it, uh, it's like they're begging us to take it. I'm telling you, the plan is fine. We just need to figure out what to do about the cameras. Discussion ends the moment you you press your keycard to the scanner. Hello? Are they, oh, it's both these guys. Hello. The recent conversation about the robbery has been replaced with a tense silence. The oranges exchange fervative glances, trying to decide how much you heard. Tell them you heard everything. A, ra uh, a round-headed, clean-shaven guy with his sleeves rolled up expresses genuine surprise. What? We were talking about? My friend Calvin and I were discussing a film. It was, uh, Bugsy Malone? The return of a man called Horse blurts out the second orange. Go and hit them with a the shovel. I'm tempted. The first orange looks at him like he's mentally disturbed. <laughs> Just so disabled. Um, you're right. Return of the Horse. That's a big shootout at the end, and the Indians all run away, and you've got to run away too, if you're smart. He's unmistakably challenging you to say otherwise. Hint the orange that you're no ordinary black wing employee. Uh, employee. Um, yeah. Big orange sneers. Give me a break. You're definitely not the type um, for our kind of work. I'll threat you whether you're willing or not to take you on. What? I didn't want to help them. I wanted to hit them with a shovel. Um, okay, what do you mean business? I just told you we were discussing a movie about a horse. I'll get out of here. Right, look. Why are you shirking responsibilities? The orange lets out the hoot. Ah, Oya sent you. Chuckling, he cups his hands to his chest as if holding an invisible pair of breasts. Um, tell him there's a, a, that a private room with an amazing view of a bare concrete wall has opened up in solitary. <laughs> yes. Smirk vanishes from Elman's face as you're thrown, as if you've thrown a switch. Solitary? What for? What did I do? Orange reluctantly rises from his seat as if hoisting an invisible hunk of pig iron. Ah, fucker. Tell her that Swedish bitch I'm working today and make sure she don't forget it. Right, Theodore... Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Lyria scribbling on a ragged piece of paper he laid over his knee. He didn't even notice you there. Um, you should return to the warehouse. Theodore chuckles sceptically. That girl can get anyone she wants. Took no offence, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not in a rush to get to my job. Um, hand to hand 50. Make your invitation even more enticing with a weighty blow from your fist. Yeah! Leroy suffers the blow slightly, but in a steady gaze burns a barely controlled rage. You shouldn't have done that. But I understand. Tell all your I'm going to work. Boom. Iced him. Um, oh, coffee. Is that coffee machine? Kitchenware. An uncooked chicken egg. Yes, I'll take that. And is that a. Uh, take all that. Loot everything. Loot everything. Leave nothing behind. Glue. I love glue. A wooden bat. What's that? Lockpicks. Simple lockpick. Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Earth and gun shells. Apparently, everyone likes keeping gun shells in plant pots for some reason. Um, it'd be quite interesting, actually, to because um, you, can, you can start in different wings, including you can be orange wing. So effectively, you can start the game as a prisoner, which I imagine makes life a little bit difficult for you. But it'd be quite interesting to see like the differences about what happens. Uh, canister. Sure, I'll take all of that. What's better, our spade or the bat? What does that do? So that does two to six. Um, it's four to seven. Uh, 
Oh, we've got a baseball bat. That's right. Batter up. I feel silly for buying the spade now, but at least I have a spade. Uh, sure, I'm going to take all of that. I mean, you, you don't know when it's going to come in useful, so... May as well take everything. I mean, you never know when broken scissors are going to come in useful. Let's face it. All of that. I mean, to be honest, I can probably... I can probably barter some of it. For stuff. Hello. A white wing employee standing near a car with a hood up, clutching a thick book to his chest. His badge says... Uh, Giampiero Stalvadari, therapist. The book says Jupiter Moon Repair Guide. You! The white perks up, throwing a thousand watt smile your way. I bet you know a thing about, or two about cars. Could you help me out? Um, yeah, all right, I can help out. I thought so. You're amazing. His maniac smile remains fixed in place. His eyes beam wetly as if he's a little bit high. People were like, oh, Giampio, you want to try an experimental engine? They said it would be an amazing ride. But so far, all I've got is an amazing breakdown. Um... Gampero's mouth stretched into a broad smile again, his perfect teeth gleaming. They're messing with me. They're like, you can find parts any warehouse, but how am I supposed to even know what I need? I bet you I bet you anything you know. Do you know? Just kidding. I'm positive you know. Leave, saying you'll look at the car and decide what to do. Uh, the, crams, the car's cramped interior is upholstered in cheap plastic that's already starting to warp under the desert sun. There's a bobblehead on the dashboard. It's holding a tiny electric guitar. We uh, turn the key... But though the indicator on the dashboard glow with a weak greenish light, nothing happens. You press the chrome disc in the central steering wheel, a horse honk resounds from beneath the hood. Okay, let's have a look at the old engine. I am not a mechanic. Red Jupiter Moon 72. If you look under the hood, you'll find a small, shoddily made piece of machinery, a rotor with a mesh body into which a glowing wire wrapped rod has been inserted. Nah, it looks like nothing like an engine, but this device would set the vehicle in motion. Right, well, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not, an, I'm not a mechanic, so I can't help you. Sorry. Um, oh, the engine. That's the culprit behind my suffering. It's too bad. I know nothing about mechanics. I'm sure you do. No, I don't. Bye. I, I said I did, and I, I lied. I lied. I lied. Oh, there's John Kepler again. Uh, right. What? Talking. Oh, hello. A small, dark-haired woman carrying a huge wrench squints up at you from under the bright ceiling lamps. She extends a soft, pale hand with neat fingernails. I'm not... Tasia Davenport, air conditioning technician. Can you lift me up? I need to get into the ventilation. Um, hoist her up. Interlocking your hands, you help Natasia climb onto your shoulders and with some difficulty, lift her off the ground. She pulls off the rest of the way up into the ventilation tunnel. Okay. Having shifted the grate, she playfully blows you a kiss. Thanks, drop by again sometime. We'll catch up with a quick wave. Davenport disappears into the ventilation system. Oh, well, no, fair enough. I'm helping people. That's good. Um, should I? Ma I should probably go and talk to Oya because I've got the the guys to, to do the thing that I said they should do, and they're doing it, which is good. It's good. Um, report: I've I've forced the lazy oranges to work. Brace to smart. Yes, you saved me. Thank you. No worries. Any time. Um, Ask for part for an experimental engine. Kevin smiles condescendingly. It seems like this isn't the first time he's received this type of order. If I understand correctly, you're not going to supply the exact name or item number. What kind of part is it? Describe the situation as succinctly. You just need a part. You attempt to explain the machine's problems and which part you need goes nowhere. Kevin throws up in the air helplessly. Sorry, but I can't give you anything, something if you don't know its name. Come back when you know what part it is. Then I can register the issue. Uh, whatever you need. Okay, can I open this? Can I pop? Can I? Can, no, can't. Can't do that. Theodore, hello. He doesn't like me. That's fair enough. I, you know, we, we've we've had some some blows. I'm going to take all this and the soap. Have I already searched all this stuff? Maybe. Oh no, paper, lovely. Nope, that's what I searched before. Anything else? Yes. Nothing found. Ooh, yes, I love that. Um. What don't I have? I don't have a mask. You'd think that would be a mask. Like the... I guess it's, no, it's a helmet. It's a helmet. Um, should I maybe... I'm thinking maybe, like, get a belt. Because that would probably... That would probably be useful. The backpacks as well, didn't they? 
I feel like a backpack could be a good idea. It's really expensive, but I could potentially afford it. And that would, that would be good. Uh, you can blow him so hard, he would, he rather would work. He, I, I did? I, I don't remember that, but... Okay, let's see if we can afford this. It's, it's a bit ballsy, but, like, I can give him all my rare earth. That's almost the en enough. I give him a spade back. Because I found something better. Give him my empty beer bottles. Um, I could give him all my potatoes. But I kind of like my potatoes. The earth isn't worth anything. Peter cloth weapon parts. They're quite... So we could do that. I could... Do I want my... I don't... Mm, 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 no, I don't want to give you that. I could give you... Bullets aren't really worth anything. I could give you the bonds. Uh, if I just give you one, that would be enough. So let's do... Let's do that, because I want the backpack. Because that's going to give us a lot more space to loot everything else. So that's what we're doing. Now I've got a backpack, which doesn't show up. That's a shame. I'd like to have a nice big weighty backpack. But now, what's my encumbrance now? Uh, 36 of 61. Nice. It's better, I think. Is it better? I'm not sure. Uh, right. Right, we need to go to level 2. We need a weapon. Uh, oh, we can talk. Of course. I, was, I, think you, I thought you needed to get into the room. You don't. You can just talk through the right the smell of good tobacco wafts off this tall plump woman from a meter away on the counter in front of her is a black lacquered pipe an open ledger with a numerous signatures and a metal flip calendar nearby a nameplate reads magrita takachenko the woman smooths her copper red hair and casually lights her pipe what can i do for you her voice is gravelly and thick as tar i want a personal weapon having heard your request magrita thumbs her notebook with a couple of pages back i see the first time receiving she moves silently over to the shelves Takachenko returns in a few minutes holding a large rifle. Now that's what I'm talking about. She puts the weapon on the counter. Blackwing employees get the best. The latest model only. The C and M modifications are better, but you won't find them here. Pulling back the action, Chikenko points to the ceiling. Up to 780 rounds per minute. The accuracy is good even during long bursts. Enjoy, just don't aim it at me. A black hands you the weapon. Um, I'm not good with... Can I... To, to, I mean, I, I think... I think I'm better at like medium weapons or low light weapons. Should I take the weapon in one hand, aim it at Chikenko saying, This is our turf now. Wow. Um A light I'm gonna ask a light weapon. Um a light weapon, okay, you'll get a light weapon. Magritte disappears in the back of the armory, taking it for a couple of minutes, holding a small pistol. She puts on the counter and strokes the black light grip with a strange delicacy. This is standard issue for blues and silvers. I don't know why they called it a raven. It wasn't me, so they did. Uh, the black loudly draws aside, pops the magazine with an instant imperceptible movement, imperceptible movement, and slams it back in place. A reliable one. Its weight is, is, is significant, so even if it doesn't shoot, you can always crack them on the side of the head with it. Jacob pushes the pistol across the counter to you. Um, take the weapon... <laughs> I like the I like the fact that you could literally go actually can I have a smaller weapon and then like right this is our turf now like why not just take the I can't I can't I can I can't I can't I can't because I, I don't know when I last saved it and if it's like ages ago that'd be a pain in the ass um we'll, we'll take the weapon carefully keeping the barrel down like we're I'm training good uh Mr. draws a pipe and releases a puff of thick yellow smoke I see that you know the rules and won't cause any problems um weapons drawbacks Kenko tamps down her tobacco with one finger. Accurate, but not killing. Its stopping power is low, but it's still an all-round excellent gun. Uh, surface weapon, the back points the poster hanging behind it. Can you see the written there? Clean oil. I have nothing to add. Uh, thanks. Wait and sign your name in the meantime. Magritta reaches under the counter and pulls three pistol clips. This is the number of ammo given out for each mission. If you need more, go to the bureaucrats and fill out the form. You know how they do it. Um, no risk, no glory. I mean... I, I just don't want it to be my last save, and then I'll have to go back and do all the looting again, and that just seems e exhausting. Uh, leaning out the armory, where do the black points? Somewhere off to one side. Now it's time for your briefing. Look for the big gate. 
Bothaby is waiting, uh, is already waiting for you, just so you know. He's a little crazy, but a good man nonetheless. Does it auto save? Garrison. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. it, it, it auto saves whenever you go to a new area. So that's, I, I could have done that, and that would have been fine. Um, right, big gates. Tra oh, we need to go to the training ground, don't we? Let's go to the training ground. Now we've got our gun. Hang on, let's, um, let's equip our gun. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Got a baseball bat just in case. And we've got psionics as well, just just in the off chance. Um, so we've got room for more relics, but apparently we don't. I should have bought a belt. Never mind. I'll worry about that later. I've got a jaunty hat. That's all I need. That's all we need in life is a jaunty hat. Locked. Why is it locked? What's over here? Tape, yes. <laughs> they don't trust you. Well, I can't blame them. I am stealing all their plants and potatoes. Nothing found. Uh, right, so what do we have to do now? Let's, let's, right, carrot, no. No, map, no, data. Yes, here we go. Right, so. Success, receive a field uniform. Uh, this, oh, available on f on floor three. Okay, so let's go to floor three then. Is this floor three? It is floor three, isn't it? Yeah, we are floor, right. We, right, we're, we're here. Blips. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I'm carrying a gun. Uh, was it Bothby we're looking for? Ah, Winston Bothby. There we go. Bothaby. Hello, Bothaby. Uh, Middle-aged black is sitting on a bench with his hand on his knees. His shoes are freshly polished and the buttons on his uniform twinkle in the lights. And even his badge retrieves Winston Bothby instructor is so shiny that it hurts your eyes. Bothby frowns as you approach. You begin, uh, begin by being late for the briefing. Are you going to be late for your funeral as well? Uh, Blackwing. Below. No, sir. And say you're ready for the training. Black glance at you. Yes, I see. You came with your weapon ready to disappoint me. Aren't you, re I, aren't you ready, employee? I am, I am ready. Uh, both we set aside, making a path to the door. Set this elevator to the training grounds. Uh, he raises his index finger. Conditions on the training grounds are close to what one would see in reality. Your goal is to avoid getting lost and dying of dehydration. And try not to aim the gun barrel at yourself when shooting. 007. Pulling a notepad from his pocket, the instructor jots down your name. Your goal is to hit three targets. I'm going to watch and advise as necessary. Try not to burst into tears. That's all. Go ahead. Um, shout, sir. Yes, sir. Move away. Okay. In the training. Um... All the voices in your head telling you to do different things. I mean, that's just normal for me. Hello. Take careful aim, but always consider your enemy aiming at you as well. Use cover. Keep track of your remaining ammo. And when the pin is pulled, Mr. Grenade is not your friend anymore. Ooh, Magellan Station training grounds. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, there's like a big... Oh, it's damaged. Okay. Let's, uh... What's this? Blue wing unit. Dead dies. Interesting. What's this white shit? Maybe... Untextured plants would be my guess, maybe? Oh, there's a, there's a dead guy over here. A dead guy and a cloud which looks deeply suspicious. I don't, don't trust the cloud. No, 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 gravity's wave strike, run away, run away, bad, it's bad, it's, okay, the wave strike was bad. Don't, don't touch that, hello, what's this, it's ancient construction, use, uh, you see something reminiscent of blast doors with patterns typical of forefather architecture. Uh, examine the shutters, the plates resemble granites or basalts, but the Dull veins running through them emit a cold bluish light. There's a definite indentation on the surface of each shutter, suggesting a decoration or part that's been removed. Take a look at the frame. The massive round port is made of different material than the shutters, although it's hard to say what exactly the difference is. One side of the arch is something resembling a little niche. It might be a port for connecting external device. Um, you look care uh, closely at the depressions in the shutter of the gate. The surface is covered with something like polished metal plates. Uh, first indentation. You oh, see around. Okay, so we need. Okay, so we need some bits. Like hello, 
Deborah. A woman in a white winged uniform is working next to a massive gate like structure. Well, here's the problem. How did you do it? She said in an tone whilst avoiding your eye. Find out who you're talking to. Woman checks herself and turns around. Oh, sorry. Deborah Romano, white winged junior research scientist. Pleased to meet you. Introduce yourself. Deborah winks at you. Ah, so you're the new arrival. Magellan hasn't exactly been teaming with new recruits recently. Ask about the forefather's gate she is studying. Um, don't you just come and stand in the middle of the room. Mr. Mr. Grenade is your friend when the pin is pulled out. Deborah smiles again, scratches no thoughtfully. Well, I'm 90% sure this structure is some kind of gate. See, there's something missing here, here, and here. It's either power supplies or keys. They told me, prove it, and all the glory is yours. Well, easy said and all that, but I'd rather get some help than glory. But now I've got to do it all by myself. Ask who needs any help. When it looks at you, uh, looks at the closed shutters of the gate. That's a good question. There's too many buts, you know. I did make some progress in my research, but, but, she smiles ironically. Deborah takes a small relic device out of a backpack. The metallic housing of the artifact is covered with drawing consisting of broken lines glowing pale yellow. She passes the relic to you. The device seems to have no weight. The first but. I found this thing close to the door. I know that they're somehow connected, but I don't know how. I know that there's a hollow in the door for it, for a couple of similar devices. Deborah crosses her arms on her chest, unable to conceal her growing anxiety. I've scanned it every inch of the cage. You know what? I found I found radiation in two places. I looked up at the documents. There are indeed unextracted relics in this cave. The woman turned to point to a hand somewhere in the north. I found the first one. I demanded a consola consolidation driller, but here is a second but. It started drilling and suddenly stopped. I have no idea why. I'm not good at all that machinery. Sorry. And there is a second relic. Deborah nods in the direction of the proving grounds. A third but is the relic from this relic. Uh, signal from this relic is strong, but scattered. The relic is somewhere in on the proving ground for sure, but where exactly? She nods towards the device in your hands. Let's let it stay with you. If you're ready to help me despite all the buts, of course. Sure, I mean, I like people giving me things, so, sure. Is it just untech? Oh, hello, secret discovered. Is, is, is it? Oh. Hello. Shovel required. Oh, I shouldn't have sold my shovel! Fuck! Why did I not keep my shovel? I should have kept my shovel. I just thought it was a melee weapon. Can I leave and rebuy my shovel? <laughs> Can I go? Hang on, I'm going to go back and buy my shovel back. Like big butts that I cannot lie. What a twist! Shovel needed. A wrench of the shovel. Jesus! Fucking shovels. <sighs> Just when you think you have everything you need, I sold my shovel. I like that I'm going to go up and Bothaby's going to be there going, Have you finished your training? I'm going to be like, No, I'm just, just getting a shovel. I'll be back in a second. Hello. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I'm, I'm just busy. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, what, what? Storage and parking. Storage and parking. Floor level. Minus two. Warehouse and parking lot. Hello. I need a shovel. Uh, yeah. Barter. Right. Where's that shovel? Shovel. Thank you. Right, I'm going to take the shovel. I oh, know. I've got too much. I've got to sort. That is sorted. Oh. Uh, okay, well, let's sure, get rid of all the earth. I don't need the earth. It's nice to have, but I don't need it. Um, I probably don't need... Grenade launchers, shells, probably. Um, that's unlikely, he says. Unsure. Oh, that's right. I just need to do that. Right, that's 30. That's right. So do we have any any bonds? Do we have any bonds? Any bonds? Any bonds? Anywhere? Uh, do I have any bonds? Yes, I do. Dagatha, hello. Uh, how much do I need? I need more. I need. I need more. More bonds. Where did the bonds go? Why am I so bad at this? There they are. Uh, so what? Are we, forty-four. Uh, five. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Fifty. Right. Thank you. Thank you for my my shovel. I'm off. Bye. Back to the training grounds. Back to the training grounds with my new shovel. Uh, military post. Bips. And isolation ward. 
Okay, we got this this time. We've got a shovel. The shovel is key. I kind of felt like selling the shovel was a bad idea, and it really, 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 really was. It was a bad idea. Right, uh, if we come over, what was it over here, wasn't it? Over here. So maybe this is not. Maybe this is. I don't know. I don't know what those white things are. They seem weird. It's like, it's like not quite. Not quite fit. Wait, where what was it? It was over here, wasn't it? Oh, did it disappear? No. Maybe it was important. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um. Maybe I was right. Maybe it just is just untextured. Oh, there it is. A pile of rocks. Let's get a shovel out. Get some digging on. Springs. Not 100% sure that was worth it, but at least I now have a shovel and there is a use for it. So that's, that's good. That's good. Like that. Don't like this. Can we, like... No, don't go near the, the fuzzy thing. Fuzzy thing's bad. We know the fuzzy thing's bad. Hello? Oh, hello. It's locked. Can I... Ugh. Can't open it. Don't have... It's an ammunition box as well. What's this over here? Is there buttons? I like pressing buttons. Compact drilling rig. Use... Uh, start drilling. Press the button, but nothing happens. The indicators are all dark. It seems the device is currently lacking power. Uh, examine the driller. The consolidate, consolidated driller. The power indicators are off and the device is unplugged. Quartz sparkle on the unmoving drill uh, with a familiar Danny Reynolds supply logo. Uh, okay, so let's... Hello, m m gen generator. Start the generator. It keeps me left in the ignition. You turn it and press the start button. The start wherever is up. The generator won't turn over. Uh, thick cables lead from generator nearby uh, drill. Okay, fuel it up. You unscrew the chrome plated. Oh, there we go. Came in useful. The fuel indicator gives a tiny start and begins to slowly creep up. Start the generator. Ah! Generator starts. Hoorah! Looting everything. The way forward. Uh, let's start drilling. Driller bites into the ground with a moist crunch. The translucent hop begins to fill with chips of rock, and you spot a small relic within, speckled with glowing yellow fibres. Um. Retrieve the relic. You retrieve the relic from the hopper and wipe away the clods sticking to it. It's a strange device, a bit smaller than soccer ball. The surface looks like metal, but the relic itself weighs nothing. Okay, good. What's this? Ammo? Yes, I'll take that. I, I think these things, you probably shouldn't see them, would be my guess. I think they're like markers for hidden... Maybe I don't have the perception to spot stuff. Hmm. Search through the crates. Could... Oh, look. Stuff. You know how I feel about stuff. Um, so... Like, what do I do about this? He's dead. Am I out of ammo? Can I load the gun? Where's my clips? Um, reload. Is that reloaded? I think that's reloaded. Yep, yeah, okay, we've got seven of seven bullets. Nice. Right, good. Just in case. Um, so, where do I find the extra... Th so, right, we've got two relics. So let's maybe try putting them in. And see if that has any effect. Over here. Staying away from the weird clouds. Whatever the fuck that is. Weird cloud is weird. So let's go and do this. And see if that makes any progress. Maybe it make the cloud go away. Hello, lady. Uh, right. Approach the indentations. Take a look at the first indentation. Right. Uh, see a round... In right, it's round, so insert round relic. 
You have to set the relic and give it a little push. You barely, uh, you notice barely visible fishes on the, on the surface. Turning around it. Now this inserted, the relic can clearly be turned. Okay. Turn the relic. Turn the relic while pressing it gently. The fissure seals up again at the same time that the relic sinks into the surface and fixes in place with barely audible click. Um... Okay, so move to the other right. So let's look at the second indentation. Uh, you notice a square depression on the right shutter of the gate. Although it's coated in some dark, dully glittering metal, there's no sign of rust on its surface. Maybe it's not actually actually not metal. Um, okay, let's insert the square relic. After you insert the relic and give it a little push, you notice barely visible fish on the surface. Blah, blah, blah. Right, turn the relic. Right, okay. Right, so we've done two. Can I heal myself? Because I'm wounded. I don't know how to heal myself. Can I heal myself? Do I have tablets? Like, do I have band bandages? I've got cloth and duct tape. That's basically the same thing, isn't it? Should be able to. Should be able to make bandages. I feel like. Maybe I just try running through. Let's like, save it. I'm just going to try running through the, the horrible, weird shit. Ow. What's he got? An onion? Uh, that's me. Okay, we took a little bit of that. We could scan him. Okay. Identify remains of Kronos employees. Sergei Adamaya. Blue wing. Cause of death, acute relic exposure. Fun times. Um, Sergey, our friend has lost his mind with this charity thing. If he wants to do some good deeds, sure, but not at our expense. Let me get to the point. I have something of value and there's no need for Exeter to find out about it. I hid my findings in a cave cache next to Luminous Flower, 20 metres from the forefather's gate. I'm talking about the furthest flower. Don't confuse them. Be careful. Part of the cave is radioactive. Okay, good to know. Massive stone structure powers. Okay, so is that... Did I just kick his body? That seems rude. Is there anything here? It doesn't seem to be. Okay, let's just get out of there. Run away from the... Does it, like, move across? No idea. I have no idea. Um... Okay, so I need to find this last relic. What did she say? Where did she say it was? Right, find a pile of rock. Right, we found that. There was like one over here as well, wasn't there? So maybe... Anything over here? Found that one. That one wasn't. What about if we try? Oh, there's not really a point trying over there. Anything over here? Mm. Well, is there anything to loot up here? It's a terminal. Is it here I need to. Where do I need to shoot things? Is it over here? Do, 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 do. Can I shoot tart? How, how do I shoot tart? What what am, I, what am I doing? What do I have to do? What am I? What's what? What? How? Um. All seeing Ray? No. Uh. Right. I'm not interested in you. Forefather's door. Right. So. According to remember, one of the parts is located north of the range. Unfortunately, the drilling rig. Right. Okay. According to what, there's one more pot somewhere on the range, but she doesn't know where. Well, that's really fucking useful. And that's like super duper, super duper helpful. Thanks very much. I really want to know what's behind that door. I bet, I bet it's good. There's always good things behind strange, ancient alien doors. Oh, hello. A pile of stones. I want to search a pile of stones. Relic. Fucking yes. Done it. Done it. I knew I'd do it. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I've solved the puzzle. The puzzle of the 
weird ancient door. Now we just open it and get our definite rewards that won't kill us, probably. This is going to be fine. Hello, lady. Oh, it's like a thing. Like, you can actually see beyond the door. Uh, approach it right. Yeah, sure. Third intonation. Square shaped relic. Blop. Turn the relic. Turn the last relic and it sinks to the gate surface with a soft click. A low grumbling sound comes from depths of the portal. The gate shudders a bit, spreading dust and bits of dead moss over you. The wings begin to slide slowly to the sides, revealing a passage. No way, it can't be. It's just too, too simple to be true. I'm in. Now I can exploit machine. Thank you. Wow, look at all this shit. I bet it's fine. Not to, Oh, that doesn't look good. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi? Uh, oh, fuck me. What's that? A faulty Mobius? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shit, no. Uh, okay, let's just end our turn. Hello? Oh, God, he can move quite fast, can't he? He's got massive pincers. That can't be good. Um, right, where can we shoot? So, if I come back, like, here. Like, pull back. Uh-oh. Please don't hurt me. I... I don't want to die. Kill her instead. She probably doesn't have friends or family. Uh oh. Now you've done it. <laughs> Is it wrong to use her as a human shield? <laughs> if I just keep moving back, eventually I might be able to kill it. Yeah! How's oh, that it? Nice. Shot it once. It's my loot. Get away from it. Uh, what do I find? Relic shards? Yeah. This is fine. Um, alien bugs. Yeah, right? Like, come on. That's not That's not on. Jeez. What's this? It's a thing. Can I... I want to scan it. Ooh. Forefather's technology. What's it do? Uh, second class relic. Presume function power source. Power transformer. Storage of organic remains. Scientific device. Emits weak intermittent radiation. Ooh. Oh, there we go. They're allergic to bullets. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a very good shot because I missed a lot. A massive stone structure buried in soil and natural rubble. Okay, what about this one. I told you opening alien doors was absolutely fine and nothing ever bad happened. Uh, second class relic, presumed power, power source, from a cult object emits reet. Okay, so that's not very interesting. What about this one? What about this one? Uh, sure, that that was incredibly underwhelming. I mean, just be like, I come out and be like, well, it was it was all right. Hello. Pay no attention to you, Deborah. Gazes fascinated at the wings, of the open door. Her eyes reflect flashes of blue light. Okay, well, you are sure, sure, whatever. Whatever. Right, what do I have to do? My story. Uh, undergo base. Right. So, military. Go, right. Goods. Breakdown. Tra training day. There we go. Right. Um, the director tells you to. Uh, so you went down to the cave. Now to start the training. You must find the terminal in the. Tra right, ter right. 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 Okay. Okay. That's what we need to do. We need to go and use the terminal, which is up here, I guess. Terminal here. Yes. That was fine. That was ace. Look at that. Shot him. Right in the face. Uh, possible death from overdose. Okay, that's fun. What's that? Oh, that's that one. Did we, we had a coffee cup, didn't we? We got rid of it. Okay, well that was... You know, that was that was alright, wasn't it? Just ran away. Everything fine. Um... Following text goes from the right. Sherman system. Welcome to holographic combat emulation. Uh, please choose an emulation program. Uh, alpha. 
Lines being written one time. Alpha Squad enters battle. Uh, hello. Hi. Oh, you've got a machine gun. Well, that's that's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Can I? What's that do? Fucking iced him like a fool. God, he didn't die. Evade. Evaded. Well, he he just he just bled to death. Ah, oh, cold as ice. I'm not going to die to holograms. Look at that. I just I iced a lot of them. They were no no one can no one can mess with me allegedly. We're all good. That was easy. No problem. Easy peasy. What's this? Anything good here? No, nothing. Okay, well, let's just go back up and tell Botha B that you know we did we did the thing and it's fine. Hello. Uh, Botherby nods grandly. You made it through the briefing without making a total fool of yourself. Congratulations. I'll send a report to Chain about your epic success. You're dismissed, employee. Bye. Nice nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. That was that was good, wasn't it? That was fun. That worked. Uh, now I need to go up to... I'm going to end the stream in a little... About 20 minutes. Uh, laboratory with medical aid. Let's go up here, because that's where we need to learn scanning. I say, I need to... Uh, Sort out my video for today. Hello. Well, that looks creepy as shit. What's going on down there? Oh, these bloody eggheads. Who do I need to talk to? Uh, quests. Uh, training day. No. Yeah, that one. Sebastian Van Ulden. Sebastian Van Alden. Oh, there's lots of stuff to loot in here. I'm going to be... Oh, this is... Look at this! It's going to be great. Where the hell is Sebastian? Maybe I just start looting until I find him? That's George. Not in there, is he? Hello. Ah, there you are. Found... Oh, you can't reach it. Uh, no path. Okay, open that. There's a door there. Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, do you have an over... over yeah, I, I, I need to... Oh, minus 25. Good, that's, that's good. Um, I, I need to do my... This is my training. I haven't even actually started the game yet. This is just literally just me doing the training. Um, you see a tall scientist in white robe. It looks like he's floating above the laboratory or dance dance uh, bathed in the light of a dozen lamps. The man turns at your footsteps. He's holding a notepad and pencil. His shimmering silver badge reads Sebastian Van Ulden. He glances at you from a shiny watch on his wrist. You must be the newcomer I was told about. I want us to respect one another's time. Speak clearly, loudly, and to the point. Nice to meet you. If Having finished his unusual greeting, he offers you a thin hand. Greet him and say that you're here, came for the briefing. Um, without any kind of greeting, ask him to train you as quickly as possible. Yeah! Have ability phase from Van Alden's eyes. His expression turns cold, but calm. It's up to me how long my instruction will take. I lecture you, you listen, okay? Answer that you're ready to listen. Scientist put the tablet aside. He brings his watch to his face, presses a button, and sets the timer. He pulls a portable computer from his lab coat pocket. I'll demonstrate this only once. I shall say this only once. The switch on the scanner press the bottom, uh, the button at the right side of the manipulator housing. The scanning ray is narrow and will only scan the object of which is directed. And Alden turns on the scanner and continues. I will say, to, I always say to scan everything that might be of scientific or statistical interest: relics, forefather objects, objects, mechanical doors, cars, vending machines, employees, corpses. He turns the screen so you can see it. The scanner automatically transmits data to the Minerva system. For each piece of uploaded data, you receive points that can be exchanged for scientific equipment, clothing, medical products, and other items. It's an incentive system for the employees. Van Alden clicks a button on the stopwatch to stop the countdown. So my oral briefing fell within the scheduled time. The next stage is training in an artificial eco zone. He pulls his, puts his finger on the button, ready to start the timer again. You go down to the platform and scan the relics. I'm watching you. Yes, note that there are anomalies in the eco zone. I will give you the Arad 3. Take it and it will protect you against radiation. With a soft, horned motion, honed motion, maybe horned, I don't know. Um, he pulls a black lid jar filled with yellow tablets out of his pocket. Thanks. So, what are these ones? Uh, oh, this one, Radforce. Uh... 
combined remedy for Persian immune system uh, sealed in the okay so do I consume it sure okay so relic over there relic over there Careful normies in order to avoid them, do not touch them. Okay, noted. A little bit of radiation, this is fine. Uh, is there anything else? Ow! Motherfucker. Careful, careful. Let's scan this one. Okay. Is that, is that it? Is that all I have to do? Are we done? Can I come back up? From the hell pit that you just dumped me in? You dick. You finish time is within acceptable bounds. Thanks. He clicks the stopwatch button and records the result. The scientist turns back to his notes. Not bad. One small question. You observe several anomalies while scanning. In your opinion, why did they appear? Uh, answer the people are taught to solve pro different problems in Blackwing. Fair enough. Scientist assumes to... Uh, assumes a superior expression. I knew you'd come up with something like that. I see you don't understand the nature of the anomalies, so let me add a couple of points. He glanced at the shimmering blue light in the ecozone. The truth is we don't know the reason for the phenomena either. We actually know nothing, no matter how much we try to convince ourselves otherwise. Sebastian points his thin finger at the crackling clot of lightning. He personally believes that the occurrence of anomalies into the dome's security mechanism, the ones you saw are relatively harmless, but in the desert there are anomalies that play with the human mind. The white lowers his gaze absentmindedly to the tablet. You're free to go. I'll tell Dean that you passed the briefing. Thanks, you massive knob. Um, right, the incentive is to find your co-walkers' co corpses. I'm sure they want to work for this company. Um, I mean, I don't really have a choice now. I'm kind of stuck with them. No path. Yeah, there's a path. There you go. There's a path. Yes, take all of that. All of the stuff. Lots of bullet casings for some reason. I want to go in here because it looks like there's lots of stuff to loot in here. Oh, look. Relic. Oh, yes. What's this? Relic case. What's in here? A black pin. Thanks. I'll take that. It's just as well they don't mind me looting all their shit, isn't it? I'm just wandering around, taking all their glue. They probably need that to get high. And are they, are they take no, because I've got it. I've got all their glue. Got all their glue, I've got all their wooden blocks. It's all mine. Locked. Can I open it? Force the door. I've almost got enough skill to force the door. Almost. I can't be bothered to talk to any of these people. I suppose I should talk to them, shouldn't I? Should I talk to them or should I just get on with the... Uh, I kind of feel like I've spent a long time just taking everyone's stuff, and I kind of... Yeah, let's take all your stuff. All the stuff. Uh, Curie, wait, I don't get it. How did we come... Uh, what? What's... Hello, what's going on? Uh, passing through the laboratory, you accidentally witness an argument between two white wing employees. A pale, bespectacled man with beard flails his scrawny arms as if drawing something in the air, but all the hail progress, the caps on Biat... Blanca's shampoo have silicon base. We remove the silicon bit, use it to cover the pointed part of the relic, roll it up to the plastic film, and his opposite shakes his head in annoyance. Di Dieter, this is not a scientific approach. There is no value, but there is an unknown risk factor which pr you propose to mitigate with shampoo caps. Upon noticing that you're looking at him, he abruptly stops talking. After an appraising glance, the white comes closer. There's a relic in our laboratory that we have to bring to the surface, but it's sensitive to the chemical decontamination agent in the chamber. My colleague is positive the plastic wrap and silicone would protect the artifact from the effects of the gas but i say it's too risky to rely on such methods it's like draping a blanket over a grenade we should just turn off the sprinklers i'll help and you say camp shampoo caps he shakes it thank you for working with the advancement of science our sound content could be switched off uh level blows tone being a security protocol the content is in black wings domain and toyo aguri can switch them off but we prefer to keep this as uh, secret as possible after all we're violating safety regulations okay what's in here uh, a glass flask that evokes thoughts of a cartoon about the beauty and the beast contains thoughts of what 
Glass Fossil evokes thoughts of a cartoon about the beauty and the beast contains something more valuable than a rose. A pale brain wrapped in wires and sensors hovering in a dense fluid. A small compressor saturated liquid oxygen is filling with... What? Inspect the brain. This is the brain. You will not win the Nobel Prize for this scientific conclusion, but it is 100% true. Examining this a bit using our scientific knowledge, the brain is rather small, too small, even to be a human brain. Some parts are not developed because of which the brain has a strange elongated shape. Some primate must have de uh, donated the contents of his skull for the benefit of science. Uh, you inspect the cable. This one is responsible for power supply. The second, with a round DIN connector, belongs to a universal interface that may be used to enter any information you like. With the third cable, anything is quite simple. This is a video communication. What are they doing? Um, you turn on the monitor. The screen is empty except the line, I swim hot to go around hot. I eat hot at the top. Intrigued, the second cable is connected to the microphone. is even more intriguing. It's man for his brain. Tiny and shiny. And round. It seems that Brain the Flask receives sound signal and produces an answer that is displayed on the screen as text. Not words, but images converted into text. Um, shush into the microphone. Others I run, I look. What could it possibly mean? I swim warm. The test subjects in the flask as for some reason. Um, roar. The screen is instantly filled with rows of characters. Kill. I kill height, height above others. It is the only reflective, comprehensible phrase among the jumble of unrelated words. Um, calmly say something to the microphone. Big kinsman, neither states nor ask the brain in the jar. I swim a bit. Pithy. Hmm. Okay. These people are weird. Right, I'm going to take all of that. I'm going to take all of your stuff, including all your paper. And I'm going to rootle around in your drawers and finish. Yeah, there we go. Let's just grab all of these bits. Because why not? What's in here? Locked? I don't fucking think so. Uh, it's just... Yes! A Regent box. Standard plastic container with Regent's kit delivered to all scientific containers under them. Uh, okay. Sure. I will take that. Thanks for your stuff. I'm leaving now. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Ooh, what's in here? Can... No, open... Don't... I'm fine, thank you. Okay, thanks. Nothing found. Boring. Oh, hello. What's this? Ventilation shaft. Oh, well. I was gonna... What's this? Empty cage. It's got some value. I'll take that. I was going to, like, just go, right, we're, we're going to finish. But there's a ventilation shaft that I really... Ooh. Stuff. Look at this. There's stuff here. And what I assume is radioactive gas. Can we go down there? What's up here? Uh, okay, well, let's go this way because there's a box. Oh, hello. Disfigured corpse. That that's nice. Scan it. Scan the corpse. Uh, death of course of Cronus employee Herman Lang, Orange Wing handyman. Death, nineteen seventy six. Cause of death: chemical burn of lungs, chemical burn of neurosphinx asphyxia. Well, that's jaunty, isn't it? Oh, he's got eggs. He's got stuff. Oh, take all that. Thanks. Thanks, Herman. Sorry about the whole, you know, being dead thing. I realise that's less than ideal. Oh, there's a box over there, but I can't... Uh, am I going to... A large... Oh, it's locked. I don't have the... No, I can't open that. I can open that, but I wonder what's over here. What have we found? Those eggs are probably not safe. They're fine. Hello. Apparently I'm in someone's office? Uh, sure. Am I f what? You feel cold. Your deafness in the institute would reduce. Oh, okay, because I'm chilly. Documents. Nothing found. Did I already search this? Nice. I'll take all that. This is fun, isn't it? 
What's this? Documents prepared by a coroner. A photograph of the dead person attached to the file as is a medical card. Lean over the documents. On the first line of the top page, the name of the dead man, Josh Bigsby. Okay. Paper. Sure. What's on this computer? The table doesn't contain any useful data. Okay, well. Hello. Just passing through. What? Who are you? Oh, that's Josh Bixby. Dead. Body with a coffee-stained shirt lies on a morgue table. Oh, signet ring. Corpse. Hands are quite sore and you have to fiddle with its finger to twist the ring. I don't know why I want... I, didn't, I just wanted to inspect it. I didn't really want to... Inspect the body. The badge on the corpse chest is covered in a coffee and the name isn't readable. Okay. I like this. I like going secret places and stealing all their stuff. They don't know I'm in here. They don't know I'm in here. Shylock, thank you for the follow. What's in here? You open the hatch, catch a whiff of cold and decomposition. A gaunt, desiccated female cadaver in a blue wing jumpsuit is lying on the gurney. You notice there's barely discernible drop of yellow liquid on her chin. It's difficult to say what that could be. You open the lock, it's empty and smells like alcohol. Mm, fair enough. Okay, well that was fine. What's all this? Okay, sure. What does this do? Does it open? Oh, it opens the door. Hello. Just passing through. Enrique. You look fun. Hey, psst, come on. Turn to voice to your short black-haired body. A boy with a neatly trimmed moustache. He's holding a, map, a mop and a badge. Don't to to Enrique. Okay, hello. Here's the thing. My relative passed away. Uh, Virginia Maria, have mercy on the soul of your humble servant. Without interrupting his incessant chatter, Enrique lifts his eyes to the heavens and crosses himself. Anyway, he is in the morgue now, and the ring, a family heirloom, remains with him. They will not give it back to me, those bitches. Will you help? Uh, that one? And Terano writes up, yes, yes, his ring. Well, you didn't, uh, why didn't you pass it on to his rightful heir? So you do not believe that the orange, the orange, and will not give up the ring. Inquire as the name of the deceased. Enrique thinks for a moment. John, we called him Bubble. Like, come here, Bubble. And he comes. Lord, what a pious man he was, and what a ring he was. Um... What was the guy's name? I can't remember. I wasn't really paying attention. Was it Josh? I think it was Josh, which is short for Jonathan, so... I believe him. Lauren Shugs would say, what can you do? Well, what about the ring? Say that even though you believe him, you will not give him... Oh, I'll give him the ring. You pass the ring to Enrique and he immediately secretes it in the folds of his clothes. The orange rests a heavy hand on his shoulder. Thank you. Ask about a reward. Entire flush you with the contents bar. Sorry, I'm strapped right now. I'll get it back to you later. Oh well. Yeah, Josh. Well, that's close enough. That's fine. Okay, well. I have. Oh, no, go. Well, I don't know. No, no, not that. What's going on? What's going on? Search. Oh, vigorous. You've been temporary initiative is temporary. Oh, okay, good. That's that's that's. Is that good? Is that good? How much experience do we have? Four thousand out of six thousand. Okay, good. Um, why was there a can of soda in a? Never mind. Doesn't probably matter. That's not. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I heal. That's that's a bit of a problem. I'll take your paper. Uh, I think you, you you heal over time, so I don't know whether I don't know whether um, a secret discovered hatch. Oh, look at that! It's locked, and we can't lock pick. And we can't force it because we don't have the strength, so can't do that at the moment. Never mind. That's fun. Um. I think you just need to rest, but I, I'm not entirely sure how you do that. I might need to check. Oh, I can craft. No workbench. Okay, well, we'll worry about that uh, later. Because unfortunately, I'm going to have to... What's the control panel do? Oh, try to find the... Flip the... Yeah, sure. Even though it's... Turn off the sprinklers. Okay, that was... All right, well, let's go and chat with them and see if they blow themselves up. I was going to say... I keep getting distracted. I fucking love RPGs. Use your healing skill. I don't. So, if I... Skills. 
So I do have medicine. That stops bleeding. Minor injuries. I, I maybe I don't have the skills to do it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I think what that means is that. Hang on, let's close that down. So I've got third. So I've, I've I've spent thirty skill points. Oh, I can do mechanics. So. Can I re I can't reset. So I think what it means is I've got 30 skill points spent in my abilities. So you get... Um, so for example, I've got three skill points here. But because I don't have the requisite skill in... Oh, I... Ah, ooh, hang on. Did I, did, I, did I always have them or have I just been being a dick? Wait, where's lock picking? So can I do this? Not sure. Um, so let's put that to 70. So basically you get um, ability points. They can be spent on your skills. You need um, a certain level. So for example, to get this skill, I'd need heavy... So I've got the light weapon. I'd need heavy weapon and high tech weapons at that skill level. So I could probably do that. So 40... So if I had the the ability point, I could spend it in rapid reload. Um, so maybe that's unavailable in current version. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Stealth. All right. Well, I don't. I don't have the ability points. I think I need two of them. Um, I've disabled decontamination table uh, type thing. Hello, you, uh, Levi. Did you hear that decontamination chamber is off? Thank you, thank you. In the heat of emotions, he hugs you to his. With people, stop hugging me. You can never be too careful. After wrapping the relic in layers of silicon, the scientists leave the lab. Good. I hope he doesn't. Well, no. I hope he does kill himself. Blows himself to kingdom come. I bet I've caused a major problem. Oh, of course it's not doing the decontam decontamination anymore because I've turned it off. Ah, maybe I should turn it back on. Like, he's, he's gone now, so I can... I can turn it back on, and then no one... None the wiser. No worries. Okay, unfortunately that's where I've got to end the stream today because I've got stuff to do. Um, so, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. But I'm not 100% sure. I'll, I'll be streaming Total War again. Um, I really like this game, though. I really like looting stuff. Looting stuff is fun. And I haven't even been outside. This is still like the, the intro. Because from what I understand, something bad happens, and you're a part of it, as is tradition. And um, that's basically when the game really starts, and we haven't even reached the bad thing yet. So, start later. I want to watch. I... I, I, I I try and stream when my wife is busy with uh, my little boy, basically, because otherwise, you know, she wants my help, which is fair enough. Um, so I stream when I can. I stream when I can. But this this game is really fun. It's called Encased, and it's in early access at the moment. And if you like like your RPGs, then I I fucking love this. I want to play more of it, and I will. Um, but that'll have to wait until later. So thank you very much for watching. And I will be back again, say, probably tomorrow. But keep an eye on, on Discord and and Twitter because it'll probably be last minute as per, as per usual because I've got no real schedule at the moment. So keep out an eye for that. Thank you for the follows and all that kind of good stuff. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next.